How's it going everybody? Back in action and this time featuring a new kind of video with the game Bad Ending Theater. It's a small story game that was gifted to me by one of my biggest fans. Shout out to you, Bed Maxi. I don't know anything about this game other than it's about four characters, so I'm ready to go and dive in blind. So good to go. Ah, uh, let's see. So, welcome to Bad Ending Theater. On this stage, we shall be toying with fate. You'll be make... You will make many choices, unlocking darker and darker paths, all in order to witness a lovely variety of tragic events. But first, allow me to explain how it works. To begin the tutorial, select whichever doll you want. Uh, okay, so... You are human doll, demon doll. Uh, start with human. Uh, you control the human doll, you're a friendly little guy, just minding your own business. When suddenly- oh, how will you interact with the demon doll? Uh, let's go with attack it. Uh, you killed the demon doll in cold blood, how ruthless. Can we see- oh no, blood's black and white. Uh, you found your very first bad ending, but don't worry, the story needs not end here. Is the game that short for endings? Uh, let's reset the stage and try again. This time, try controlling the other doll. What about- Go ahead and try playing as the demon doll this- oh, you can't- no joke- you are... Demon doll. You control demon doll, you're a fierce looking guy, just minding your own business. How will you interact with the human doll? Uh, it's wicked. Uh, just attack. Now you both attack each other at once and achieve the worst possible outcome. One excellent bad ending, made possible by your decisions, you'll do well in this theater. Now that you know how the story goes, you can set the doll's behavior in advance. As you just saw, these behaviors will automatically be set to what you chose during your last playthrough. But now you can turn each one on, on or off without having to replay them from the doll's perspective. Yes, my theater actually doubles as a puzzle game. Now I'm wondering, is this going to be just a bunch of branching tree paths? Uh, now try turning the doll's behaviors on and off to see the different outcomes. Uh, just on or off. The human doll will attack. The doll will attack. Okay, so it tells you what's going to happen in the instance. I'm not going to click that button yet. Uh... Actually, is the mouse even recording? Oh, it, my mouse isn't recording. Let me switch that. Okay, there we go. Now you can see what I'm highlighting sometimes. I was going to click this button, but I think that's just going to start the game when you choose character. Okay, so I'll start with human and turn that off and then play him again. You control the human doll, you're a friendly little guy, just minding your own business. How will you interact with the doll? Uh, play nice this time? You will tr You try to make friends with the demon doll, but it kills you. <laughs> the end. That's, uh... If I reset, is it just I kill the demon? If I tr turn this off and then attack again? Okay, same thing. Okay, I'm done. You understand how to play? Yeah, I get it. This game saves your progress automatically, so just relax and collect all the bad endings at your pace, own pace. So I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of achievements in this game, just collecting, like collect all endings, basically. Now, without further ado, let's start the show. Oh, got one achievement. Ah, uh, you complete the tutorial. Enjoy the show. Okay, so I'm good to go. I'm probably going to start with the hero. We got hero, maiden, underling, and overlord. Okay, and I'm guessing this is endings in the corner. Bad end. 11 endings. Is that add up? Right? 20, 31, 41. Yeah, okay, so not many endings for the underling. We're just going to go with hero, I guess, and start do everything with him. Oh, okay, it is all the paths. Hero flees from the demons. Flees from the demons. Hero apologizes when he's done. Okay, so it is just branching paths non-stop. And underling has the least amount. We probably might end with the underling, maybe. Or maybe just go in order. Okay, I'll just start with the hero. Uh, you are the hero. You like to think of yourself as a pretty reliable and swell guy. Your life has been rather ordinary, aside from the occasional heroic adventures, fighting evil monsters, and whatnot. You are told the maiden from your village has been kidnapped and is likely being held captive at the nearby demon overlord's castle. Where's the underling in this picture? Uh, who even puts a village right next to where an entire demon army hangs out? You don't get it. 
Well, why would the village build up after the castle's there? Uh, you're having to protect the townspeople, though. You were born to play this role. You head off on your adventure to rescue the maiden. The demon soldiers block your path. You could kill them to gain experience. Uh, we need experience. You gotta level up. Make quick work of the vile creatures who stood in your way. You feel much stronger now. <laughs> with blood covering them. Uh, after a long trek, you make it to the castle's front gates. You are faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. There's no way you to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. Cut through the demon army, get more experience, ask if they'll let you in. Ah, uh, be dutiful. Gather courage, this is what must be done in order to rescue the maiden. Hack and slash your way to victory. He's already covered in blood. Ah, uh, these are all evil demons anyway. The world is much safer with them gone. Oh man, hit blood everywhere. That's what you tell yourself while you kill one after another on your way to the Overlord's chambers. The Overlord appears, demanding to know what the hell you're doing murdering all our soldiers. You get straight to the point and ask her where the maiden is. She feigns ignorance, uh, ignorance a convincing act, but you won't be fooled. If the maiden isn't here, then what happened to her? You can see only one answer. The, over the Overlord definitely captured her. In fact, it's possible she's already been devoured. Thinking about the poor maiden's fates fills you with hatred. You fight the Overlord with everything you've got. Uh, you've become strong from the hordes of demons you s took down before the final battle. The Overlord is almost no match for you. I'm thinking he's here. He's maybe like level 20 at this point? Uh, you cut her to pieces. The Overlord has fallen. Breathe a sigh of relief, but your job is not done finished. It's not yet finished. Search ca castle. Unfortunately, you find no sign of the maiden within its walls. It's just as you suspect. It's just as you suspected. She must have already been devoured. You feel hollow. Great evil has been banished from the world, but what does that matter if you were too weak to save someone? Stand alone amidst the carnage and ponder what it means to be a hero. Covered in the blood of your victims. Ah, uh, you return to the Overlord's remains and wrap her head in your cape to bring back to the village. Surely your great victory will, will be celebrated. The end. Failed hero. What? He killed the Overlord? The village should be happy. Uh... Reset the stage? Uh, okay. Do I want to play to get- We'll do Dutiful again. And get that other option if I choose not to kill people. Uh, you're the dear hero, you're like, it's blah blah blah. Life has been rather ordinary. I know there's a setting that we can go in and adjust this that we don't see... ...the same text as before. Uh, who even puts a village right next to their entire demon army? You're happy to protect the townspeople, though you were born to play this role. Okay, uh, let's see here. Menu. I'm gonna try uns unseen text. Wait, no. Skip. Why would I want to skip unseen text? Uh. Use cues on. Self voicing? Self voicing it. Oh, that kind self -voicing of self voicing. Disabled. We'll go default. There's gotta be a way. I'm just trying to see here. Skip after choices. Skip unseen text. Why would I want to skip the unseen stuff though? That's that's odd to me. Okay, you head off on your adventure to rescue the maiden. The demon soldiers block your path. You want to kill them? We will not kill them. Flee like a coward. Forgetting your pride, you escape with your life. With that deadpan stare. Uh, but you can't return home now. Your reputation will be ruined. Wonder how you'll ever be able to rescue that maiden all your own if you can't even fight some lousy demon underlings. Take your chances at the castle. You're a hero after all. This is your job. Long check. You oh, okay. It just skips. Ah, uh, you make it to the castle's front gates. You are faced with an army of demons. They're all very intimidating. There's no way to sneak past. Okay, we've seen this. Ah, uh, go with diplomatic. You go up to the nearest demon and explain why you're come he you've come here. They stare you down and let you feel very uncomfortable. With a big eyeball. But they seem to trust you and escort you directly to the Overlord's chambers. That was easy. No blood this time. The Overlord is alone. You ask about the Maiden, but the Overlord doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Okay, Music Q is just telling you the new song, I guess. But she really never here. You wonder what could have happened to her. 
The Lord says that she wishes she could help you, but you're the first human that's come here in forever. At least that's what she knows of. You think of how you probably shouldn't trust her, seeing as how she's a demon and all, but you can't really prove she's lying either. You apologize for the intrusion and return home to your village. Main was never found. Useless hero and useless. He was diplomatic and didn't cause any bloodshed that time. But you get an achievement for every ending, I guess. They are popping up like crazy already. Reset the stage. Uh. Prefers not to solve things through violence. Slaughters all the demons. Okay. I don't want to go to the next character yet. I want to like see if I can completely tap out the hero to make sure I fully understand what's going on here. Uh, what if I just lock them both in? Uh, what if we skip? Oh, you just skip right to it. Uh... Diplomatic, dutiful... See, I'm clicking auto and skip, but nothing's happening. I'm wondering if that's how it actually works. The hero battle music is really good. Oh, you can press back? Yeah, there's nothing else. Do I have to hold it? Oh, it's too late now. I'm trying to understand the menu here. Reset the stage. Okay, so it skips right to it, and if I choose dutiful, skip, takes to the next... Okay, so it skips to the next option, so if I choose either one of these, hit skip, takes to the end. Okay. Uh, exit the theater, let's just see what happens. Takes you right back to the main menu, okay. So that's all the hero's options at the start, and I guess I've already saved. Tech speed, I might make this a little faster. Music can be a little louder, too. Okay, uh, I'm, I don't know if I want to go Maiden, though. I wonder if I want to go straight to Overlord to get her perspective based on him. I feel like that's the better option. She does a little, like, peace sign there. Uh, you are the Overlord. You live in a castle surrounded by your demon servants. It's a pretty cushy jaw life, you think. Except for those pesky humans who keep killing members of your army. There's even a world called Hero whose whole purpose in life is just to dethrone you. What's their deal anyway? You've actively avoided pissing off the humans in hopes they'll leave you and your army alone, but they never do. You're still new to this whole Overlord thing. If you're, if you're being quite honest with yourself, you don't really understand the politics of it. That kind of threw me off because they've said the castle's been here for forever. But you remind yourself everyone is just doing their best to fill their roles. You won't let them bait you into being the evil overlord they expect. I think you're pretty cool and mature to hold yourself to the higher standard like that. One of your, under one of your underlings walks into your room, totally interrupting your thoughts about your how awesome you are. I'm assuming this is the one from we can play as. Uh, they're saying something about how boring it is to stand in one place guarding the castle all the time, especially since no one ever comes there anyway. See their point, but the way they're whining about it kind of bothers you. What do you do with this underling? Then we get back to work, grant them the day off. Uh, we'll start with the, the obvious choices. Being the evil overlord. Uh, you give them a lecture about responsibility and unquestioning obedience. Your servants ought to do what they're told, whether they like it or not. They look really unhappy with you, but you're sure they... But you're sure they'll thank you for this later. Venturing too far from the castle tends to spell death. You dismiss the underling and lie down in your nice and comfy overlord bed. All, the lecture, all that lecturing made you want to take a nap. Fall asleep pretty quick. Just another one of your amazing talents as the overlord. You are awakened by one of the, your underlings. They brought you a hero who inquires about a missing maiden. You tell him you don't know anything. Humans never really visit this place. He leaves you and goes home. To your surprise, you figure he might try to fight you, but you're glad to get back to your nap instead. Until you wake up to something especially completely unexpected. One of your underling, underlings is tearing your throat out. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, you try to struggle, but you can tell you're already mortally wounded. What have you done to deserve this kind of ending? You curse at them, choking on your own blood. 
You die wondering if you could have done anything to prevent this. And one other achievement unlocked. I'm assuming it's because you made them work, but... Someone finally visited, so should, doesn't that prove your point? Reset the stage. Tyrant. Diplomatic. Okay, so I'm guessing it's the last playthrough. Like, keep that to diplomatic, and I'll keep it on Tyrant. Oh, she's not giving you a peace sign. She's, like, fanning... She's running her hand through her hair. Uh, skip. We'll go grant them the day off. Tell them to go take a break from the stifling castle atmosphere and refresh their dark soul. A day off should be fine ever every a day off should be fine every once in a while. They think you and happily scurry off to do who knows what. You have nothing better to do today, so you decide to nap for a little while. Being the overlord sure is great. Okay, and he comes in peacefully. Going by one of your underlings, a hero wishes to speak with you. He inquires about a maiden who is rumored to be here, but you've never seen her. As Hero takes his leave, you wonder why he totally trusted you. Heroes traditionally kill humans, this guy seemed like he was bad at his job, in your opinion. <laughs> uh, whatever, you're still feeling sleepy, so you go right back to your nap. And then... He still kills you! Ah, uh, one of your underlings is tearing your own throat out. You try to struggle, but you can tell he's already mortally wounded. You're mortally... You're already mortally wounded. What gave you to deserve this kind of ending? Remember how you gave him this day off, and this is how it pays you. Die wondering if you could have done anything to prevent this. Okay, so it's still the assassination ending. Reset the stage. We'll go dutiful this time. Oh, is it based on the options for each question on the level? Okay, I'm gonna go dutiful. I'm wondering if it's like, you choose dutiful for this, but you didn't choose anything for the diplomatic, and then it defaults to the assassin one. So I'll go tyrant. The overlord, blah blah blah. Pesky humans. Don't know what you're doing, you're new at your job. Mind yourself, everyone's just doing the role. So he comes in, you say tyrant. Give him the lecture, they leave. Now he should burst through in, right? You wake to a huge commotion outside. Okay, here we go. Uh, hero has shown up and started totally murdering your soldiers. What the hell? Rush out into the battle to confront this jerkwad. You curse at him and very rudely inquire his reasons for doing all this. Hero yells at you, demanding you return the maiden you were holding captive. You don't know what he's talking about, but you can't forgive his actions. You do battle with the hero, but he has grown strong from cutting down your army thanks to those level ups. Uh, you are unable to defeat him. Decisive swings, he stabs and cuts you to pieces. You fall and you have failed your subjects. You spit curses weakly, you wish you could have been stronger. Maybe you were never suited to be an overlord in the first place. Truth was, you were never that much more powerful than the demons who served you. It was the title, the, co that, the control that gave you strength. Those are your thoughts as you are swallowed by darkness. And new achievement, there it is. Ah, uh, okay. I want to know how long she's been doing this for, because it sounds like she's new at the job, but then everyone sounds like this relationship has gone on for forever. Okay, what's next? Uh, we'll save the maiden for last because everyone's talking about it. We'll go with underling. And I guess I will... Go with dipl Meh. Go diplomatic. With the underling. Uh, you are a demon underling in service of the overlord. You aren't particularly strong, but not particularly weak either. That's what your friends tell you. Is he strong? Is he as strong as the overlord though? Uh, your job is to guard the castle and keep humans away. It's unbearably boring. This is how he got through. They're just relaxing. Heroes really come all the way here to challenge the overlord anyway. It says a lot of standing in one place, staring into nothing. I mean, you can talk to your friend. Uh, you feel like you're gonna go crazy if you don't get a break. You decide to ask the overlord for a day off. Also, so pr she's surprisingly cool with it. Nice. You set out to your adventure outside the castle. Okay, well... It's a day off, you gotta hang out at the castle at least. Change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rolling around in the grass, wild and free. There she is. Uh, as you make your way along the path to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. She seems very frightened and screams for hero to come save her. You consider your options. Uh, tell her to quit yelling, it's your day off. Uh, when the maiden realizes you're not gonna hurt her, she regains her composure. Now she started talking to you like your friends or something. You don't understand humans at all. 
speak the same language, of course, which has always confused you, because why is there conveniently only one language in the world? Demons and humans have independent societies. Wouldn't it make sense for them to each have their own language? They stop getting meta all of a sudden. Uh, the maiden is going on and on about some kind of destiny she's trying to fulfill. The bottom line from what you gather is that she wants you to take her to the Overlord. Sounds like it could be interesting. Besides, you have nothing better to do. Satisfied with your day out, you take the maiden back to the castle and present her to the Overlord. You seem to be getting along just fine, so you decide it's about time for a nap. <laughs> Something bad's gonna happen, I take it. Uh, oh, okay, nothing yet. Uh, you don't get to sleep long. Your friends wake you up. Rude. One of them is stepping on you pretty hard. You ask them what their deal is. They say they're playing a whole revolution. They're gonna get rid of the current overlord and put a new ruler in place. She just gave them the day off! Uh, they want to hear if you're in or out. And being a pretty lazy underling, you of course reply with. That sounds like a lot of trouble. How about we just skip it instead? Your friends question your loyalty to their cause. She's actually not so bad, you guys. Ah, okay, uh, the... She gave him the day off. Let's go, let's go with the passive route for this. Your friends seem pretty disappointed and they apologize to you, but before... You can ask what they're sorry about. One of them suddenly sees you. Someone who's still loyal to the Overlord really has no place in our castle. You understand, right? Their claws tighten around your neck. Don't bother to struggle. You're, not, you're outnumbered. You already know how things like this end. It's a pretty messed up thing to do to a friend, you tell them. You slit your throat in response. The end. Uh, is he fa Yeah, he's faithful, I guess. I thought every underling got the day off there. Not just him. Uh, okay, we'll stick with him, and just do it again. Skip this, okay. Uh, gobbler up this time, well, no. I want to see what happens if you get to the, uh, this option again. Just like, so I guess you're gonna rip out her throat this time. Tell them you were just joking and clarify that you're totally in it to win it. <laughs> they say you are always terrible with jokes. Uh, whether or not you actually feel like killing the Overlord, you know how bad it would be to end up on the wrong side of things. If this assassination deal doesn't pan out, you can always pretend you were innocent all along. But beneath your sh shield of full confidence, you worry about what you're getting yourself dragged into. Follow your friends outside the castle to take talk more about the plan. You're curious if they have any idea how they want to go about this. Who's going to be the replacement? Uh, they figured they'd just lock her in a room and set it on fire. What a stupid plan, and it could go wrong in so many ways. Realize your friends are just a bunch of directionless, directionless thugs, useless without someone's guidance. Your guidance. Uh, they'd probably be casualties if you fought her head on, and... There'd, there'd probably be casualties if you fought her head on, and they, while showy deaths make a revolution a heck of a lot more fun, it's probably the wrong way to go. Your friends agree and suggest that you play the assassin. You really don't want to come down to this. But you can't back down now. You'll have to do be the you'll have to be the one to assassinate the overlord. Besides, no one has any better ideas. Ooh, different color scheme. Uh, you and your friends turn to notice a pair of humans have overheard your entire conversation. They take off into the castle. They head to the overlord's room. Fuck. I didn't expect that kind of language. Ah, uh, the Overlord would kill you for sure if she found out you were inspiring to take her out, so you dash into the castle after the humans. Sure enough, the main's already frankly telling the Overlord everything. You shout that the humans are liars. Your friends soon arrive to back you up, except they don't. Instead, they blame the whole thing on you. They cry that it was all your idea and that they were just going with the flow, too scared to refuse your crazy plan. Can't believe they tell the Overlord such a blatant lie. You always knew better than to trust them. You're the one who didn't have any choice here. Uh, you all shout at each other until the Overlord demands silence. The color scheme really reminds you of, like, Oracle of Ages and Seasons. I'm not sure why. Uh, regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place, crushed beneath my heel. She sounds tough, but lately all she does is sleep. You doubt her strength. You hear your traitorous friends mutter something about going back to a plan A, and suddenly the door slams shut. You're trapped in here with the Overlord and the two humans, and then the room bursts into flames. You pound on the door, screaming curses at those who betrayed you. The hero joins you, vowing to slay the lot of them. You wish we could get the chance. 
Your Lord grabs you by the throat. You cry for mercy. You were forced into this mess. You're sure... You're sure now that they would have killed you if you're sided with her. The Overlord doesn't hear your pleas. She drives her claws into your chest. At least she made it quick. I'm guessing ripped out the heart? That's it? Traitor, traitor underling end. He got the... <laughs> he got the worst end. He was just hanging out on his day off. Okay, reset the stage. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go hungry. That Well, no, I want to see it. So... Just play it out. Skip. Eater! Maidens aren't the best meal, but you figure you should have live up to your demon name and strike back against the humans. You start devouring the maiden without so much as a second thought. You feel quite proud of that. A lot of blood in this game. Uh, other humans would surely praise you with curses if they were around to see. Oh man, if only someone could have been watching. Time to find an audience for your evil deeds. You wander into the nearby village. The people are screaming and running away, throwing rocks at you and whatnot. You think that's pretty rude of them. You haven't e even done anything yet. He's already covered in blood. Uh, let's put on a show. They might as well go pure 100% evil. Uh, you attack the nearest human. He is old and weak, and his bones crunch delightfully. Your audience screams grow louder. Applause! You think, hey, this is actually pretty fun. I should have taken revenge like this a lot sooner. I just noticed that it's all lowercase, even the eyes. As you continue your bloodthirsty dances, striking the village down, you hail to notice this. You fail to notice a sword-wielding hero running toward you. Even after a sentence, it doesn't uppercase. Ah, uh, he takes you out with one swift blow. You're just a demon underling, after all. As you die, you think that was totally worth it. <laughs> Curtain closes. Performer underling. Reset the stage. Ah, uh, we'll stick with hungry. Demon underling, skip. Gobble her up. Uh, skip. Change your mind and leave. You figure if people aren't this upset at just the sight of you... If you figure if people are this upset at just the sight of you, they won't fully appreciate any terrible acts you're, you'd commit. Also, they might fight back. That probably won't end well. You're just one little underling after all. He's a little underling, but he says he's, he's, he's not quite weak, not quite strong. Uh, look... This little day out has been adequately refreshing. You return to the castle, thinking you'll take a nap. Oh no, we're back to this. You get to nap long, your friends wake you up, rude. Okay, we've seen this. Uh... Let's kill the overlord? You've already killed the maiden. You're just joking, clarify you're totally worth it. Okay, it's the same thing right now. It would be different once the hero comes. The maiden wouldn't be there. Just get through this. You'll have to be the one to assassinate. You sneak in. Okay, so they didn't show up, so now you're doing it. You sneak into the Overlord's room. She's taking a nap, like usual. It was almost too easy. You suddenly approach her, your master. She looks so peaceful. Time to die. Uh, check it out. I want to see this one first. Go with the coward. You don't want to kill her. You can't go through with it. Wow, this is a good song. Uh, you turn to leave the room, but you find your friends blocking the exit. In a panic whisper, you ask them to let you out. This seems to have been their way of testing your loyalty. You tell them this is pretty fucked up and ask again to let out. To be let out. The overlord stirs in her bed while your head is turned, and demons shut the door. Are they going to plan A? Uh, you scramble into the overlord's closet to hide before she wakes up and sees you. There's nothing you could possibly say to explain this and survive. You're trembling. You, can, you can't believe these assholes would bully you like this. You feel like crying. Like flickers at your feet. Doesn't take you long to realize they've set the room on fire. Yep, they're back to plan A. You hear the overlord trying to get the door open to no avail. You're both trapped. Too afraid to move, you resign yourself to your fate. You and the overlord burn together. Cowardly underling? Yeah, okay. Uh, reset the stage. Oh, okay, he's got coward now. Okay, I want to go... Click... Skip. Eater. Skip. Change your mind. Skip. Uh, kill the overlord. Skip. And time to die. You figure the cleanest way to do this would be to dig your claws into her throat, so you do just that. She wakes, but not in time to stop you. You watch as she chokes on her own blood, cursing you before finally expiring. That felt terrible. Remind yourself it was either her or you, and you wouldn't, weren't about to let yourself get killed by anyone. 
leave the room to find your friends waiting just outside. They look pleased, only now do you realize they must have planned to use you like this from the beginning. You're the new ruler of the castle, your subjects bow before you. You live in fear that they will one day betray you as you had betrayed your overlord. Just give them enough days off and they'll be fine! Lord Underling and B, there's another one. Some good music for the Underlings story. Uh, okay. What do I want to do here? Slap on Tyrant and... I guess look at Bad End. Look at, look at the Underling stories, let's see. Underling performs a brilliant massacre, they are slain by the hero. Then returns to the castle. Dutiful. Oh, he's passive, so he's probably not shooting. He doesn't show up there. Uh, the other one begins their story. Tyrant. Then really gets involved in a plot to dethrone the overlord, the disloyal. This is the maiden, and we're not doing that one yet. So I want to set him to dutiful, I guess. Eats the maiden, goes back to the castle, and then he'll show up and do something. Slain by the hero. This one didn't show up. How come this one didn't show up? Okay, uh, go back. Send him to Dutiful. Turn off Diplomatic. I'm gonna do his story again. Uh, skip this. Oh, is she set to Tyrant? Can I go back to... Oh, she said to Tyrant. Okay. Uh... Actually, I haven't tried that yet. Okay, stop with the hero. Stick with the Overlord being Tyrant, and he doesn't get the day off. What's he gonna do? Skip. She gives you an earful about responsibility and questioning obedience. You wait for her to finish her lecture before returning to your post. Okay, this is all new. Uh, what does she know about anything? Who made her the boss of everyone? You complain about the Overlord to your friends. They agree that she is kind of a snob and totally deserves to be kicked off her throne. <laughs> or just dead. Uh, you only wanted to vent your frustrations, but the conversation somehow turned into assassination plot. You should probably steer this in a responsible direction. Uh... Let's not. Tell her friends you were totally not serious about this whole thing. You're actually cool with the status quo. After all, life must be pretty dang good if your only thing you have to complain about is that you live so comfortably there's nothing to do. The others nod, but you don't seem convinced. If you say a coup d'etat would be more effort than it's worth. You're still gonna be a rebel and sneak out of the castle. Your friends praise your mischievous ways. Change of atmosphere excites you, and you spend your some time rolling around the grass, wild and free. Make your way along the path to the Mirai village. Are we just back at the eating option? So your options. Okay, I didn't expect him to still go off. Uh, tell her to quit the yelling. Okay, here we go. You want to ask where you found this maiden, knowing full well that you left the castle when you weren't supposed to. Wait. Did I miss something? Wait, back, back. Bottom line from what you gather is that she wants you to take her to the oh. Yeah, okay, I have seen this before. Apologize for displaying her, but hope that the maiden is interesting enough present that you may be forgiven. Overlord nods and says everything's cool as long as you always listen to her from now on. You're impressed with what an easygoing boss she is. You mentioned how you can't believe you and your friends even considered overthrowing her. She gives you a look and say, that was just a joke, of course. She smiles and dismisses you, you decide it's about time for a nap. And then suddenly... Oh, no. And we're back to this. Okay. I uh, won't get to sleep long, your friends wake you up. Rude. Okay, skip this. Uh, the maiden's there. So let's kill the overlord? Whether or not you actually feel like killing the overlord, you know how bad it would be to end up on the wrong side of things. Deal doesn't pan out, you can always pretend you were innocent all along. But beneath your shield of fo Okay, I've seen this. So they go out. Realize your friends are just a bunch of directless thugs. Talk about the kill, and then the maiden's gonna say, hey. Oh no, where's the maiden? Time to die, chicken out. Is she in the closet? This is such a good song. Okay, where's, where'd the maiden go? And now you both just die. Okay. Uh, reset the stage. I, I'm sticking to the underlying. I want his story. Now it's the most involved here. Uh, to the throne. The underling devours the maiden. Hungry. Oh, okay, I have to eat her there. 
Okay, so keep her to Tyrant. Let's... Let's not overthrow. So he goes outside. We eat the maiden this time. Not the best meal, but you figure you should live up to your demon name and strike back against the humans. So you chomp on her arm and flat out eat every single morsel of her. And then the hero's gonna show up. You wander into a nearby village. People are screaming and running away. You haven't even done anything yet. Oh, that's... Okay, I've seen this one. Reset the stage. Okay, I thought this one meant I haven't unlocked. Oh yeah, okay. Question marks are... <laughs> All these question marks are bad ends. Like, it's obvious. Okay, so I'm sticking with the... The underling now, because he just wants his day off. So we need him to be dutiful. He eats the maiden. Eats... She says no, he still is disloyal and leaves, eats the maiden, goes to the castle, and then the hero has to be dutiful for here. Okay, so dutiful, start this again. Skip, uh, let's not overthrow her, but he's still gonna break out. And we eat her, and instead we change her mind and leave and go back to the castle. So this is all, this should be new. Also they might fight back. Little day has been adequately refreshing. You return to the castle, I think you'll take a nap. Okay, here we go. After a few hours of sleep, you're rudely awakened by the sound of a battle. This guy never gets a full, full nap. You emerge from your room to find that a hero has slaughtered many of your friends and work associates. What a jerk. Uh... We'll go with, be a good underling right now. Uh, who does this guy think he is? Coming in here and killing everyone like some maniac. What did he ever do to him? You lunge at him while he's busy driving a sword into the guard who sometimes brought you food whenever they noticed you were feeling kind of down. You like that guard. You wished with all your demon heart for this hero to suffer for his deeds. You bite into him, tearing flesh from his bone. It tastes like iron. The hero struggles. You feel a sword go through you, but there's no pain. Only retribution. Four of your comrades pile onto him as your consciousness fades. The hero is overtaken. Your army is won. You have earned your rest. Okay. I'm guessing he died from that though. Reset the stage. Uh, do it again. Skip. Let's not overthrow her. She's a good, gu she's a good girl. Uh, this girl on the other hand, sh eat her up. Leave. Okay, he shows up. This time we want to save ourselves. You just want your day off. Uh, you look around at the lifeless forms of those you've known as far back as you can remember. You feel glad to not be in their shoes. You also feel guilty to be thinking that as you flee the castle until you remember your role, not as an underling, but as a demon. This kind of thing is expected of you. Maybe you'll start a new life, far away from any humans or demons. We will live peacefully alone in some dark forest somewhere. Deserter underling. Okay. I want everything to do with the underling right now. He's only got two endings anymore. Uh... I already have them all. Okay. So that's everything I can do with the underling right now. And I guess with her... The Overlord Awakens. I have to do these... I'm not doing the Maiden yet. I think everything connects with her. So right now I'm just gonna work with what I got. Uh... The Overlord lets the underling have the day off. There's another option here. I have access to... What do I have access to here? He has to be a coward for this one. The Overlord begins her story. Tells the underling to get back to work. If he's hungry, the Overlord awakens. He has to also be a coward. Okay. So hungry and coward. Skip that. Uh, tyrant. Oh. I guess I chose the wrong one. Did I give him the day off? Okay, then he leaves. She goes to sleep. So she should wake up to the commotion. Okay, there we go. Oh, but he's set to... He's set to be dutiful. 
It's all just dead. Yeah. Okay. Exit the stage. Oh uh, no, I'll go to her. The world tells the enemy to get back to work. And if he's hungry, the world awakens. But he's a coward. And then she get this one. Oh, but he's disloyal. Okay. So that's that ending. Oh, he's not disloyal, though. What? How does this work? The Overlord awakens, and if he's a coward, it'll go here. But if he's disloyal, the Overlord wakes up to the underling terror or throat out. Hungry. They turn off Doodleful? Skip. Tell me get back to work. There we go. Before you note, everything around you is being engulfed by flames. Okay, what happened? Oh, he shows up and you say, it's fine, leave. So you wake up to something completely unexpected. Before you know it, everything around you is being engulfed by flames. What's going on? Try to escape, but something's blocking the door. You're having trouble forcing it open. What is this? And then the underling is in the, the closet right now. Someone didn't want you getting out. Are you being usurped? They have zero foresight. What castle will they rule if from if this one What? They have zero foresight. What castle will they rule from if this one burns? You don't want to believe that your underlings have betrayed you, but this is no accident. Those ungrateful bastards. Choke on the thick black smoke from the fire, you can't believe you're being done in by a bunch of cowards. You'll see them in hell. Burned overlord, okay. And that's because the underling is not doing anything in the closet. Yeah. Uh... I guess I can't access that one yet. Okay. Does he have any other options? Hero begins a story. Flees from the demons. Dutiful. Uh, there's another option I can't do yet. Uh, bad end. Hero finds the maiden. The overlord is upset. Dutiful. What else can I do? Hero flees from the demons. Hero is set to the castle. Hero reaches the overlord's room. Everything is fine. But if he's disloyal... Yeah, okay. We want to disloyal that. And he, this should make him burn down the place while they're both in there. I think. Uh... Do we want to kill him? No, flee like a coward. We're going pure diplomatic here. Okay. The Overlord Maiden seemed to be in the middle of this, some casual conversation when you barge in. And the reason she's there is because the underling didn't eat her. You all look at each other in surprise and confusion. There's no time to hesitate. Destroy the Overlord. Heroic. That's me. What's going on? Uh, let's go with the original intent of the first playthrough. You lunge forward, driving your blade through the evil overlord. She screams and falls silent. The, over the overlord has been slain. You smile, offering the maiden your blood-covered hand. She takes it. After a slight hesitation, she must be surprised at how strong you are. You escort the maiden home. She's oddly quiet on the trek back to the village. I'm guessing that they switch clothes. She must be sh too shy to speak. The villagers are very pleased with what a good job you've done, slaying the overlord and saving a hostage. They throw a huge celebration in your honor name. You're remembered for generations as the greatest hero the village has ever seen. Triumphant hero. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm thinking they changed clothes or something. For some reason. Uh, let's see what I got. Working with only w with what I have. Everything is fine, but he's disloyal. Hero tries to slay the Overlord. Heroic. Tries to slay the Overlord. But his behavior is disloyal. How come they didn't go down this path? Everything is fine. I don't know why I didn't get this one. Okay, do it again. Skip. Flee like a coward. Skip. Be diplomatic. Skip. Now we'll ask. The maid explains that she was never actually captured and that she came here on her own accord. Violation. Vol volition. Ah, uh, that was...
pretty dangerous thing of her to do, but no one got hurt. So at least she's... There's that. Yes, can return to town with you to reassure everyone of her safety. Now the underling's gonna jump in. Oh, nope, they're leaving. Ah, uh, the Overlord allows the two of you to leave and you casually exit the castle. You pause when you see a group of suspicious demons standing near the entrance. Now this is where it connects. Okay. Ah, uh, they're talking about assassinating their Overlord. This proves to you that demons really are foul creatures. We have to tell her about this. You understand what the maiden is thinking. The world is better off with less demons. They're all cold, ruthless creatures that should be destroyed. And those same creatures have just noticed you eavesdropping. The maiden takes off into the castle and you have no choice but to follow. You burst into the Overlord's room. The maiden frankly tries to communicate what you just overheard. The demon underling barges in next, calling you liars. Followed by the group from the entrance who shifts the blame back onto the little one. These demons only care about themselves. How low can they be? Begin shouting at them, and the whole room dissolves into noise until the Overlord yells for everyone to shut their traps. She threatens them with violence. This Overlord is no better than her subjects. Grip your sword tightly. If you have to cut through everyone here to get this maiden safely, you certainly will. Maid, maid's just like, what's going on? The group of demons hiss to each other before shutting the door, leaving the front of the litter behind. You glance around for another exit, but there isn't one. You have a terrible feeling about this. We're going to plan A. There it is. This is the whole room is in flames. What kind of demonic ma magic is this? The underling really pounds the door, upset that it's been betrayed. You join in, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. The next moment, the overlord has taken hold of the underling. It's crying for mercy. Her claw she thrusts her claws into her underling's chest, and it lets out a terrible scream. You back away. You won't be the next target of her rage. She continues to dig in and twist her claws into its limp body. You can no longer watch. Look to the maiden. She's crying, hands clasped together in prayer. To have faith in a time like this, you envy her. Two of you, the Overlord and the Underling's corpse, are all consumed by flames. Resigned, hero. Okay, got that ending. So yeah, you do have to just set them up and make the right choice. He still has so many endings. Uh, I don't think I can do any others until I unlock more emotions or choices. Disloyal. Yeah. Is there anything else I can do here? There's the maiden, but I don't have options for her yet. I think I'm going. Oh, wait. Here is apologies for what he's done. Beautiful. I should have be able to get this one. So what do I need? Ah, uh, dutiful. Dutiful. And then I guess don't attack. Dutiful. Dutiful. And then go in. And then that's being heroic. So if she's upset. I think that's right. I don't think it matters when you choose. It matters. This is set for when you play someone else. So this time we'll just do blood, bloodshed non-stop. Find the maiden being held captive, but for some reason you can't sense any sensor happening. Look at each other, and then... I've already done this, haven't I? Oh, you can't look at the options now either. Okay, and then I've seen this one. What do I have to do for... Here tries this heroic. I don't know, maybe I need something from uh, the Maiden to do that one. I don't know, it seems right. Yeah, the Maiden's there. Overlord, Maiden, hero, hero. That's... Oh, that's the underling. Okay, so I guess... I don't want to start the maiden if I don't have to yet. I want this one. Is there anything else I can do here? Oh, no. Well, let's see the underling have the day off. So the underling would have to not be hungry. Or allows the maiden to stay in chat. 
And he has to be dutiful for this one. Dutiful, then heroic for two different endings. Okay. Uh, so I will turn off Hungry. I'll send him to Cower just to be safe. Uh, we'll start Dutiful. So skip. Uh, grab the day off. Skip. You wake to a knock at your door. The underling from earlier brought back some company. It's a man from the nearby human village. She says her role is to be captured by you. The maiden then goes on to say that she's been getting very impatient thinking about her impending capture, so she's come here to speed things along. You appreciate, you appreciate her honesty, but regret to inform her you never had any plans to capture any humans. She seems very disappointed by this. Perhaps I'm not performing my role well enough. How can I become more maiden-like? You really don't understand the question. I think this world puts way too much focus on destiny and junk. Just go home and stop worrying about it, you tell her. Bane seems to be having a hard time wrapping her head around this. She insists that she stay and talk to you more. You feel warm inside as she looks into your eyes. This is the first time a human has looked at you without contempt. You wonder what to say. Okay, here's some new stuff. Tell her she better go home, let her stay for a while. Uh... <laughs> we know the hero's coming, let's tell her to leave. You'll love... You'd love to have all the conversation in the world with her, your new friend, but having a human girl here will definitely cause trouble. She is not happy. Put on your mean face and tell her to get lost. Main goes what she's... Main, the maiden does what she's told and takes her leave. Figure you may as well go back to bed now. You don't get to... No one gets to nap. No one gets to have a nice nap in this game. But before you know it, everything around you is being engulfed by flames. What's going on? Try to escape, but something's blocking the door. You're having trouble forcing it open. What is this? Someone doesn't want you getting out. Are you being usurped? Okay, we've seen this one before. Have her portrayed you, but there's no accident. Those are some grateful bastards. Choke on the thick black smoke from the fire. You can't believe you're being done in by a bunch of cowards. You'll see them in hell. Burned, Overlord, and I've... Okay. Reset the stage. Do it again. You over the Overlord. Skip this. Give him the day off. This lets the Maiden come. Uh, we... We're gonna let her stay. You can't bring yourself to send this maiden away, she just got here. You enjoy a nice long chat with her, sharing stories about your kind. She expresses her surprise that demons are not at all what she expected them to be. You're glad that she seemed to have an open mind about these kind of things. You also bring up how you always instruct your army to avoid humans, not as, as not to agitate them and get heroes sent out, sent out after you. That explains why the people of my village have been left unarmed. It's because of your orders, isn't it? We are all very grateful. But isn't the hero been dealing with demons for a while, it mentioned? You're surprised to hear her thank you. You've always thought of humans to be violent and unreasonable. That's why your servants are always getting killed, despite your efforts to leave them alone. But the maiden is different. You joke that maybe you've been lying to her this whole time and that you were actually super evil all along. Maiden laughs at that, saying she wouldn't mind being held captive here. The people in her village are a little exhausting at times, she says. You can't tell if she's into you or not. You notice the sound of battle have started ringing through your castle halls. Maiden is getting nervous, but you are sure it's only your underlings roughhousing. No big deal. And then suddenly the hero's gonna burst in covered in blood. You know it's probably a hero, but you don't want to upset the maiden by telling her that your army will take care of it. There he is! Uh, it isn't long before the hero bursts into your room, covered in blood. But he shouldn't have made it here. Why didn't they stop him? The hero just stands there, unsure of himself. He is covered in demon blood. As the main speaks to him, trying to explain the situation, you move past the hero and out the door. You're not thinking clearly. Seeing your servants' bodies in pieces all strewn about your castle has certainly has really taken it out, oh, has really taken it out on of you. That hero did this. There's so much blood. Why did he come for the maiden? Why did he... she needed rescuing? There was no one for this castle... There was no one for this hero to save here. There was never any harm meant to anyone. You were just talking to her. Why has it turned out like this? The hero starts babbling insincere apologies and excuses, re realizing his wrongdoing, but you are far beyond hearing what kind of, that kind of bullshit. You have had it with this human always burdening your servants for no reason. You can no longer hold yourself back and lash out at the hero. Ah, uh, when you regain control, there's nothing left of the hero. The main has fled in terror. You are alone. Wrathful Overlord. Okay. I got it. 
So the other one would be... Tries... Slaughters all demons, tries to kill the overlord. Yeah, we want this one. Skip. Uh, give him the day off. Skip. Uh, let her stay. They chit chat. He shows up, but not covered in blood this time. You've been interrupted by another human in your doorway. This time it's a hero. He suddenly strikes, cutting through you with his blade. He didn't even hesitate. Ah, you've gone soft. How could you have let your guard down like that? How unfair, after all you've done to avoid this outcome, you can't outrun your destiny. The hero always slays the overlord. <laughs> She's just giving that smirk. Ah, you should never have trusted a human. You watched as the hero escorts the maiden out of your castle. Captured by a demon, at least she got what she came here for. Join your army in eternal slumber. Slain overlord. Okay. She didn't really do anything that time. What do we, we got? Uh... Nope, go back to her. So these are all the bad endings. We don't have the maiden yet. Diplomatic. I think this one we want to be antisocial, maybe. No, it's not enabled. So which ones are? Uh, okay. Overlord begins her story. Gives him the day off. Allows the maiden to stay in chat. And if he's diplomatic, it goes to this one. And then if he's disloyal, we'll get... I'll keep that off now and should get that one. Okay, so diplomatic. Got it. Okay, let me skip all these. You are the overlord, you live in a castle. That's right click. Is there a way I can just... Oh, you can do a... No HUD mode. Okay, skip. Give him the day off. He'll bring back the maiden. Uh, let her stay for a while. And then he gonna, he's gonna burst in. Uh, he was apparently searching for a maiden who is rumored to have been captured by your kind. Captured? Not at all. I only wanted to meet with the overlord. Didn't anyone read the note I left behind? After everything is explained, the hero expresses his relief that this whole misunderstanding had led to uh, any horrible consequences. The maiden apologizes for causing trouble, and the hero asks her to return to the village with him. Confusing feelings well up inside your heart. You're surprised that you had one of those, those to begin with. You don't want the hero to take this man away from you. Uh... We'll go with possessive? <laughs> the, the stare. Uh, the maiden came here to be captured by you, didn't she? You'll grant her wish. You tell the hero you won't let her, let him take her home. The maiden assures you she'll be back, but you don't want budge. The hero is cautious now. You won't let her go, maybe you demons are evil after all, and if you are, I'll be forced to fake wish you. You have no choice. You destroy the hero before he can steal your maiden away. <laughs> she's now she's she's frightened, but you don't understand why. Didn't she say she prefers this place to her village? Now she doesn't have to leave. You take a step forward toward the maiden. She backs away in her. T she backs herself into a corner. You don't understand. She wanted to stay here with you. The hero is trying to get her in the way of that. You had to kill him. So be sure to keep this maiden very safe from now on. In the dungeon. Selfish overlord. Okay. No, I keep pressing the wrong buttons here. Reset the stage. Uh, same ones. Now we have possessive as an option. So skip this. Random the day. Skip that. Uh, let her stay. Skip. This time he shows up, and this time you'll let them go. Well, certainly she'll return to spend some more time with you. You just have to trust in that. You decide. With the hero and maiden gone, you plop down in the comfort of your luxurious overlord bed, and then here comes the fire or slitting of the throat. The room feels so empty now. Is this loneliness? You hope your new friend will be back soon. You close your eyes for a while. Until your door slams shut. And here's the fire. Before you know it, everything around you is being engulfed by flames. What's going on? Try to escape, but something's blocking the door. Okay. Yep. This is just her burning to death. Burnt overlord. Skip. Reset. I think we need the underling to be a coward now? Let's the main and her hero go. But if he's disloyal, then he gets she gets her throat slit, I guess. Okay. Uh disloyal. Click. Skip. Give him the day off. Let her stay. Let them go. Wait, what happened? Oh, he fall asleep. 
and then they burst in. You'll almost fall asleep when the maiden and the hero burst into your room, frantically trying to communicate something to you. Probably because the underling is disloyal now. You've told the group of demons is planning to assassinate you. You're not surprised how nice of a humans to care about. One of the underlings barges in next, shouting that humans are liars. Followed by another group of demons, crying that eventually... That everything was at the first underlings plan. Everyone is shouting over each other now, and it's very annoying. You yell for all of them to shut their traps. You have no doubt that your servants would let would let their ambition cloud their judgment and let, lead them to try to take your throne. Regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place, crushed beneath my heel. Saying that made you feel very overlord-like. You aren't sure if you have the strength to back it up, though, lately, as all you do is sleep. A group of demons start muttering something about going back to plan A and suddenly slam your door shut. We know what's about to happen. You, the main, the hero, and one of your underlings are trapped inside. And there's the flames. The underling pounds the door, cursing at their friends for betraying them. The hero pounds on the door as well, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. So this is how you all die, burned alive in your own room by those you thought you could trust. Does the overlord's room not have like a window or something? You should have expected this from a bunch of idiot demons, though. You notice the maiden crying. Why does she have to die over something that was nothing to do with her? Perhaps she was cursed from the moment she spoke to you. You wonder if you're cursed as well. You're so filled with anger and frustration, you don't even notice that you grabbed the underling whose traitors blamed on everything on. They cry for mercy, saying that they were dragged into this plot not knowing they'd be killed if they took your side. They cry that they didn't want to have you kill it. My, what did that say? They cry that they didn't want to have to kill you. You almost feel sorry for them. Uh, take retribution? Okay, we'll start with the usual ending. You pierce their chest with your claws. They scream. The hero backs away. He is wise not to interfere. They stop moving, but you keep digging and twisting your claws into them. It doesn't make you feel any better. And his corpse burns along with you and the two humans. Spiteful overlord. Okay. Uh, auto, reset the stage, do it again, skip, let them the day off, and they bring the maiden, let her stay for a while, just be the most chilled overlord there can be, forgive them, being the chill overlord, the chill and cool overlord that you are, uh, you oh wait, wait, no, 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 don't auto that, okay, that's what auto does, you realize the underling killing them wouldn't make you feel any better, besides, they've already gotten their punishment, you'll all burn together. Oh, okay. Overlord's true. That's the true end? Before you've taken back to reset the story once again, you pause for a moment. True end, you say to yourself? Wow, game read me like a book. Ah, uh, what was the point of all my effort if the true ending is this terrible? You must have forgotten where you were. This is bad ending theater. Is the pain setting in? No, oh, but you should have been well aware of what you've been shown when you entered this place problem I've been seeing quite often. At some point you grew attached to my little cast, you started to relate to their flaws, their plights, you started wishing for their happiness. We aren't going to find that here in my theater, my lovingly crafted labyrinth of suffering. Anyway, I hope you'll pardon the interruption, you're making great progress. The choice to continue on to the next ending is always yours. I'll leave you to it, dear guest. That's what you get for being the cool overlord. Uh, okay, what do we got? True end. Death. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Disloyal. No, some of these... Some of these are based on the maiden now. Hero Podge is what he's done. There's another ending here. Possessive. Merciful. Okay, so I gotta go back to the hero now. I can get like three endings here. Uh... Okay, hero begins a story. If he's dutiful, and du if he's dutiful, he gets to the mate, the overlord. Apologize for what he's done. Okay, so be dutiful, and we have to have the maiden live. Okay. So we'll go with, I guess, just let him go. Skip, uh, dutiful, skip, dutiful, skip. Destroy the Overlord, heroic. 
Ask the main what's going on. Is this the right options? No. Norlar has been slain. But it, how, it says I die though. Triumphant hero. What? How am I not? Re am I not reading this right? The hero finds the maiden. The overlord is upset. So dutiful, dutiful. Yeah, and she ate him. So it's hungry is turned off. Comes to here. Unless the maiden is involved. It doesn't look like the maiden's involved though. I'll put them all the tyrant for her and do it again. Skip. Dutiful. Skip. Oh. Spot Maiden heading back toward the village. She couldn't have come from the Overlord's castle, could she? This may be the exact Maiden you're currently seeking to rescue. You approach her with curiosity. She runs from you for some reason. You wonder what's all that about. But when you remember you're covered in demon blood, not wanting to look like you're a crazy person chasing after her or anything, you nonchalantly walk back to town, dripping in blood still. Uh, as you walk past the town square, you notice the whole village is crowded around. Is that the maiden you saw earlier? She's bound in a wooden stake. The crowd is in a frenzy. Smoke rain begins to rise and you stand idly by as the flames consume the maiden. She must have done something horrible to deserve that. You decide to call it a day and return to your house, but you can't escape this sinking feeling. Maybe you aren't cut out for this role. Spectator hero. Okay. Got that one. It's probably so... Possessive. Antisocial sends her home. That's what happened there. The Overlord is upset. Oh, I got that one. Okay. The hero slays the Overlord. He brings the maiden home. Oh, that's not the right ending. Which one is it? Everyone in... Has everyone consumed... Which ending did I get? Here's home having accomplished nothing. Hero slays the overlord, he brings the maiden home. Which ending was that? Spectator hero. Okay, here. How did I get down here? Oh, because she's antisocial. Okay. Uh, dutiful. Du okay, so we have to turn off antisocial. That's the only one I can see. Everything is fine. But if he's possessive, we get that ending. Okay, I might as well try and get that one. So turn off antisocial and do it again. Skip. Dutiful. Kill everything. Ask me what's going on. She explains that she came here on her own. She was never in any danger. She hesitantly asks why you're covered in blood. You don't know how to respond. The overlord moves past you and out the door. This is the evil side. She this is your last, this is your chance, hero. Uh, stab the where you can, this is all just a big under- yeah, stab her. Lunge forward, driving your blade through the evil overlord. She screams and falls silent. The overlord has been slain. You tell her, let's go. Grab her hand. She must be too shy to speak. I think, that, yeah, this is the normal one. Okay. Do it again. Skip. Dutiful, skip, dutiful. Skip. Asks the man what's going on. She walks outside, explaining this is a misunderstanding with her giant one eye. You hope that she'll get this whole thing slide if you could just explain yourself. You really try, but the Overlord is inconsolable. She tears you apart, and the maiden watches in silence. As you die, you can't help but think you probably deserve this. Tragic hero. Okay. So that's probably the one I've been looking at. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, so now we want to be possessive. And we want to be a diplomat the whole time. But he can't be hungry. If he's hungry, he goes down that path. Okay. It's making sense. I'm already about halfway. Oh, no. Don't exit the theater. Yeah. Just about half. So we want him not to be hungry. We want her to be possessive. And... Yeah. Okay. Good to go. Skip. Uh, flee like a coward. Diplomatic. Ask me what's going on. Okay, here we go. But the Overlord objects to this. The Maiden tries to tell her that she'll come right back, but the Overlord refuses to hear it. The maiden seems nervous. As a hero, it's your job to med med mediate the situations like this. 
tell the Overlord that if she doesn't let the two of you go, you'll have to assume- Okay. Wait. If not let the two of you go, you'll have to assume that she's evil, you'll be forced to vanquish her. You leave me no choice. And we're back to being ripped to shreds. Horrible you come up this way, only be met with this cruel fate. You should have destroyed those evil creatures while you had the chance. Dang wishes for the maiden to somehow make it out of this alive. Naive hero. I think that's all I can do. Oh, I don't. I got a true ending, but I thought don't unlock for these though. Okay, go back to the hero. I think I'm done. Oh no. I need this ending. This is the true ending, probably. So. He's a diplomat, runs from the demons, diplomat, talks, everything's fine, but if he's disloyal and merciful. He has to not be hungry, though. Hungry and disloyal. Oh, wait, what's up here, though? Heroic. Okay. Just make him disloyal. I think that's all I need. And then make her merciful. I think. I, I don't know if I'm- I might be screwing this up. Okay, runs like a coward. Diplomatic. Ask what's going on. Try to make conversation with the maiden, but she's been pretty quiet since leaving the Overlord's room. Is she shy? She suddenly stops in her tracks and you turn your head to ask what the deal is. Oh, the Overlord's castle is engulfed in flames. You can't help but feel relieved you got the maiden out of there when you did, but... She suddenly takes off toward the burning castle. Panic sets in and you follow to try and stop her. So there are windows where the fire is, so the, if the Overlord has wings or could make wings, she could just fly out. The smoke is so thick, you've already lost sight of her. Demons are running all over the place. What is she thinking? It's too dangerous to continue. You feel hopeless. You stand alone at the castle gates. Your body won't allow you to take another step forward. No, going in there would be suicide. You'll return to the villagers and let them know there was nothing you could do. You were too late, the maiden was claimed by the demons. Bystander hero. Okay. That's not what I expected for the title. Let's see, what are my options here? Wait, which, end which one did I get? Disloyal. Did I not toggle that? I didn't. Okay. Uh... What did I do wrong? Merciful. Disloyal has to be on, but not hungry. Okay, do it again. Skip. Ask what's going on. She's going to kill his retribution. It continues to cry and make excuses, but the Overlord does nothing. You're surprised she lets it go. Our demon's capable of mercy. You guess it doesn't matter now. They'll all burn together. Hero's true end. Oh, that's the true end, eh? Okay. No matter the perspective, the true ending remains the same. That's what makes it true. You couldn't resist seeing it for yourself, though, could you? I wonder what will happen when you collect them all. Will you give it into despair, or... Okay, there's that voice again. I'm guessing that's the director. That's who we're dealing with. Uh... There's the true end. I think at this point, I need the maiden to do stuff. I somehow got this ending, though. Uh, I guess... Oh, no, there's a few I can do here. Okay. Uh... Brand of the day off. I don't know, like, brings the maiden to the castle. Maybe he's disloyal. But if he's diplomatic and she's possessive, we get that ending. Okay. And this requires the Maiden surviving, so he brings her home, gives her to the Overlord, uh, be disloyal. You sneak up to the Overlord's room, but there's a couple of humans in there. You watch the scene unfold. This is such a good song. Uh, you aren't sure why, but the Overlord suddenly cuts down the hero. She approaches the Maiden you brought it to her earlier. With the Overlord distracted, you figure this is as good a chance as any. You launch a sneak attack, getting her right in the back. She flinches, giving you enough disadvantage to take her down. You rip the Overlord apart until she stops moving. Blood everywhere. Ah, uh, that was messier than you sh would have liked. The Maiden mutters something from the corner. Thank you for saving me. 
wasn't your intention, but it sounds like you did something heroic. Tell the maiden to go home. This place is dangerous. She follows your advice and leaves your castle. You are the new overlord. Heroic underling. Uh, wouldn't that be ending B or whatever it was called for him? I thought that was one of them. That's... Is that really a bad end for him? He became an overlord. Uh, okay, well, let's see. What do I need? She needs to be merciful. And she needs to be antisocial. And we'll go down that route. She needs to be antisocial and merciful. There we go. Okay, don't eat her. Bring her home. Be disloyal. Chicken out. Do I have coward? Time to die. You figure the cleanest way to do this would be to dig your claws into her throat, so you just, you do just that. She wakes, but not in time to stop you. You watch as she chokes on her blood, cursing you before finally expiring. That felt terrible. You remind yourself it was either you or her. Her or you. <laughs> you weren't about to let yourself get killed by anyone. Leave the room and find your friends waiting just outside. They look pleased, but only now do you realize they must have planned for you to... Blah, blah, blah. We've done this one before. Okay. Uh, reset the stage. Do it again. Bring her home. Be disloyal. This time, chicken out. You don't want to kill her. You can't go through with it. Turn to the room, but you find your friends blocking the exit. And then they say the same stuff. You hide and just burn, don't you? Cowardly underling. Okay, how do I get that one ending? Be disloyal. Oh no, I have the wrong one. Oh, maybe you, you have to get these then. Kill the over out of retribution. Underling violently overthrows the overlord. They become the new demon ruler. Uh, it's gotta be something. You can't get this one, I guess. It, it seems wrong that I can't, though. It looks like I have before. I've gone down this route. Okay, I guess I'll just come back to that one. There's too many variables on that one. And that one needs the maiden, 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 true end. Okay, I guess it's time to start the maiden. We'll start with the default route, so turn everything off. But yeah, that, it all comes together with her. The final piece. Uh, you are a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to a spooky demon overlord's castle. You're told that you are fated to be captured by the overlord one day because you are a beautiful young girl. Demon overlords apparently love capturing those. Think of how you haven't heard of that actually happening to anyone, but maybe the demons just haven't been given the opportunity. Who knows? You are in church. You pray for your, to your god, asking why you have been born to this role of a maiden. You respect the divine plan and all, but you're really just curious as to what's the point of it is you are impatient. Being a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Maybe you'd understand your role better if you were just hurry up and get captured already. You leave a note and venture forth to find a demon just to, you know, see what happens. Not long into your adventure, your little adventure, a demon underling appears before you. Looks pretty scary. Now is it going to default to immediately eat you? Ah, uh, shout for a hero to come save you. We'll, we'll start with the maiden roll. You yell, but a hero does not come. The demon is put off by your sudden shouting and asks you to keep it down. You apologize. They seem more confused and hostile, which totally catches you off guard. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. Tell them that you were just thinking maybe you sh could understand your role better if you were to hurry up and get taken away by a demon already. The demon doesn't seem to have really been listening to you, which is a little irritating. They agree to take you to their master, nonetheless. After a long walk to the castle, you are introduced to the Overlord. You explain why you've come, and she squints at you. Turns out she never had any plans to capture maidens, and, or to do anything else that would agitate the humans. For, you wonder for a moment if she might be lying, but it doesn't really seem like it. Still, this doesn't make any sense to you. It's a very normal route so far in this run. Ah, uh, you've always been told that demons would only one day seek you out and something awful would happen. Then a hero would come to your rescue. You don't want to believe that you've been lied to all along. Maybe it's just that you haven't been maiden-like enough. You ask the Overlord what you should do to be more suitable maiden, but she doesn't seem to understand. Just go home and stop worrying about destiny so much. She makes it sound so simple. This Overlord seems like the complete opposite of you. 
want to learn more about her and how she thinks, she insists on staying to talk with her more. The Overlord shares many stories about demons with you, and little by little you realize they might not be the rootless monsters you were raised to believe. Turns out she commanded her demons to avoid towns and villages. She didn't want to risk giving the humans any excuse to send a hero out after them. All I want to understand is who, what came first, the castle or the village? And it, which, whichever one came first, why did the other think building beside it was the right idea? You realize that must have been why you've never heard of any demons attacking your town. You express your gratitude to the Overlord on behalf of your village. She says you can thank her by telling the humans to stop raising heroes. She can't, she's tired of her servants getting killed off by them. You've always thought demons were violent and reasonable creatures, but it seems the Overlord could say the same of humans. You may be different, but really, they're just trying to live their lives the same as you. You feel like they're, you're starting to understand things a lot better. Maybe everything I've said was just to deceive you and other humans. Well, what would you do if I turned out to be the super evil all along? Even if she were to capture you now, you think this place is far more interesting than the way things are back at home. You like... You kind of like not being told to expect demons to come after you all the time. You feel free. Honestly, you're always kept to yourself, but spending time with this overlord has been very nice. You feel butterflies in your stomach. As you think that, a hero enters the room. You're surprised to see him at first, until you realize he must have been sent to retrieve you. Confused, the hero asks you what's going on. Explain the situation, reassuring her, him, that you are never in any danger. The hero expresses his relief that this whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. You apologize for causing trouble, but really didn't anyone read the note you left? Jeez. The hero asks if, you've, if you'll return to the village with him to give everyone the news of your safety. The overlord allows the two of you to leave, and you give her a little wave as you exit the room. He'll be back soon. You're about halfway back to the village when you feel something is off. And we'll check your cerns, you look back over your shoulder. Stop your tracks, the castle's engulfed in flames. Is the overlord all right? You can't return to the village like this, you have to know. You have to be sure everyone is safe. You're already taken off before the hero can even think of stopping you. You can scan the fleeing demons, but the overlord isn't in among them. I guess the fire happens no matter what right now. Against your better judgment, you rush into the burning castle to find her. Quickly realize, reach the overlord's room, but the door is shut tight. The handle is too hot to touch. You're too weak to force it open. You pound your fists against the door helplessly. What were you thinking? This is all because you'd forgotten your role. Only a hero could pull this kind of thing off. You start to cough. The smoke is too thick, you can hardly breathe. You realize you haven't got much time left now, so you desperately head toward the stairs to save yourself. The fire spread faster than you expected. You won't make it outside. You can't help but laugh. What a joke. A maiden saving the overlord. If you just stayed true to your role, things wouldn't have ended like this. This is exactly the kind of punishment you deserve. Let the demon fire cleanse your rotten soul. Selfless maiden end. Okay, that was a long one too. Uh, let's see, what did that open up? That didn't really open the one thing, that's polite. That's the only thing it opened, basically. Yeah, that's it, okay. Uh, do it again. This time we'll be polite. Tell the demon your name and explain that you're Maiden from the village. I guess we don't get names in this game. Tell him that you were thinking maybe you could understand your role better if you were to hurry up and take- Okay, we've seen this one. Same one, okay. Uh, reset the stage. Bad end. So, now that I have Polite... Oh, there's the one ending. I gotta get this ending. The most obvious one. Uh, if she's polite or not, it doesn't matter. No matter what, it's the same for that. Is being polite do nothing? Polite is not a factor for that. It's nothing. Polite is polite is the worst option in the game, I guess. Okay, so let's stick with the endings. We need him to be hungry. And then that'll be the obvious ending. Skip. Uh, be polite. Doesn't matter. Demon lunge suddenly jumps at you and starts biting a lot. How painful. This plane of yours was completely stupid. This plan of yours was completely stupid. You think, why couldn't you have been more patient? Why did you go look for trouble? 
You weren't angry or anything, of course. This was all your fault for trusting a demon not to devour you on sight. This is your punishment for questioning fate, I get you guess. Bit by bit, you are swallowed by the demon until you are no more. He he eats the bones, even. Consume maiden. Okay, what else do we got? Oh crap. Menu. Go back. Uh, we need endings. Maiden. Okay, so that's the obvious ending. So we need... What do we need? Maiden meets the overlord. But if she's anti-social, we'll go down. Okay. He's not hungry this time. Okay, introduce yourself. He takes you to her. The overlord tells you again that you should get lost. How rude, you just got here. Uh, obey her for now. You don't want to cause any trouble, so you figure just back to the happy music. Uh, you don't want to cause any trouble, so you figure it's time to go home. Along the way, you encounter a hero. I see what you're doing. Don't you know the overlord's castle is, like, right there? Explain everything that happened. The hero seems to think you're lying to him. He asks if you've been brainwashed by the demons. What nerve. You are very upset that this, that this so-called hero would treat you this way and leave in a huff. I guess this is the one where she gets burned at the stake. Uh, you return to the village alone. Everyone was uh, very worried about you. They surround you with a thousand questions and you tell them your story. As you explain that the Overlord never had any intentions to harm anyone here, you notice the looks of uncertainty in the crowd. People are whispering things to each other while you speak to them. Here comes the stakes. Uh, you are loudly interrupted by an older man. He rudely calls you a demon sympathizer. <laughs> The crowd is growing unruly. You understand, you only told them the truth. Do they not believe you? Everyone begins speculating that mu mu uh, what must have actually happened. They weave elaborate lies and ask you to prove your innocence. How could you have returned without the aid of a hero, they ask. You don't, you could not have possibly escaped the Overlord on your own without harm. You must be conspiring with demons, trying to trick everyone into believing they aren't the horrible creatures we know them to be, so they should say. Now, the people of your village always been this blind by blinded by their fears and hatred of things they've never cared to know. You wonder how you missed that before. <laughs> you were seized by the crowd and voices from all sides are calling for public execution. You are to be burned to the stake. You don't want to die. You wonder how would it have been better to hide the truth. You don't like the thought of that. You've always lived honestly, so why was this happen? Why are you being punished? You hear this uh, descending voice of your family and neighbors, but they, like you, are powerless amongst the momentum. They can only watch as you burn, and you can only cry for them. You are so, so sorry. Executing Maiden. Okay. So Maiden didn't do anything on that one. Uh, get back to the main menu. Reset the stage. Uh, this time we will not leave when she's being antisocial. Be polite. She sends you on your way. Refuse to leave. Put your foot down and tell her that you're not going anywhere. You just want to fill your destiny, even if you have to make it happen on your own. She's a little frustrated at your stubbornness, but doesn't kick you out or anything. Hooray! Gilbert shares many stories about demons with you. With little by litter, you realize they might not be the ruthless monsters you were raised to believe. This is the usual path we've seen before. So at this point, the hero should show up. Or not. Which ending was that? Skip. Skip. Refuse to leave. I'm thinking this is when she just goes home and then uh, everyone burns her at the stake. Right? Oh no, it's the fire. Okay. Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, what else do I got here? Let's see. Uh, hero's gotta have an option here. She's an enemy of the village. Okay, that's antisocial. Man chooses to leave when told. Being obedient. But if he's dutiful, it's the same thing. Okay. Uh, stays with the Overlord for a while. But if he's diplomatic, she's possessive and he's disloyal. We'll get this ending. So we want diplomatic and possessive, but not disloyal. Diplomatic. Possessive. She can be polite, it's fine. Uh, be polite. That <laughs> heads Polite or not, you get the same result going that going down that path. Uh, but the Overlord objects to this hero's suggestion. You tell her your plan on returning soon, but she isn't having it. 
you feel nervous, the hero puts on a brave face for you. If you want to let her go, maybe you demons are all evil, evil after all. And if you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. Leave me no choice. The Lord suddenly jumps the hero. She tears into him with her claws. Rips him to shreds. Ah, uh, you want to cry out, but the scream catches in your throat. You watch because you can't look away. Has she really been lying to you all along, you wonder? Is this your punishment for questioning the divine plan? Overlord approaches you now. You back yourself into a corner. She, her, expression, her expression is complicated. This is the most eyes in the game. Ah, uh, being captured by the Overlord in a horrible way like this was your destiny after all. She vows to keep you very safe from now on. You're afraid to find out what that means, but there's no one left to save you. You belong to the Overlord now. Ah, uh, she's captured. I guess she's just thrown in the dungeon. That's the probably the safest place for her. Okay. Ah, uh, next one is he's disloyal. Got it. Play it again. Skip. It doesn't matter if you're polite or not. Ah, uh, but the Overlord stops, or rather, someone has stopped her. Whatever the her, whatever held back your screen before doesn't stop you this time. The Overlord is being ripped to shreds by one of her demon underlings. You think you recognize him, but it's hard to tell with all the blood. Everyone stop moving now. The room is silent, save for the underlings' heavy breathing. Thank them for what they've done, even though it was awful. You feel you've been rescued from a terrible fate. They look at you, confused for a moment, but then puff out their chest. You should probably go home. This place is dangerous. Follow their advice and make your way out of the castle. You decide never to leave home again for the rest of your life. The end. That one's pretty tame for. She sees some murder, but that's about it. I guess... I guess the hero died that time? Possessive? Yeah, the hero died too. Okay, up to 30 endings. We've got two bad endings. We want to show up and be diplomatic, but disloyal. And then if she's merciful, we get the true ending. So let's... Oh, this is... We have to take this path first. We want this one. I can, I, can I finish all of it? No. Okay, we'll get the two endings that I can. So, diplomatic and disloyal. And... Can, does she have to be possessive? No, she cannot be possessive. Okay. Okay, skip this. Doesn't matter what you choose there. Oh, okay, now we're back outside. Uh, this is when they're leaving, when he's diplomatic. Uh, near the castle's entrance, you spy a group of suspicious demons con congregating. Uh, they're talking about assassinating the Overlord. You have to warn her. But the hero shakes his head. He says that if this is the true nature of demons, the world is better off with less of them. This isn't right, you think. What kind of hero passes up the chance to save a life? The demons have taken notice of you. It's now or never. You take off into the castle, and then the unreliable hero follows shortly after. You burst into the Overlord's room, all your words spilling out at once. You should probably slow down, but there's no time. The Overlord seems to have followed your frantic explanation, but clearly doesn't understand the urgency of the situation. The underling you recognize from before barges in, calling you a liar. You're su surprised they were a part of this evil plot. They seem so nice. The other demons come in right after them, saying the whole thing was the first underling's idea. Everyone's shouting at each other now. It's really stressing you out. You're relieved when the Overlord demands silence. She threatens them with violence, and you think this is her... This... And you think she is very Overlord-like in this moment. The group of demons hiss to each other before shutting the door, leaving the little one behind. They're setting up for plan A. He watches it pounds on the door in distress. Have they locked you all in? You have a bad feeling about this. There's the flames. Thing that must have jinxed it, because now the room is engulfed in flames. If only you had ignored those demons before, you and the hero wouldn't have stumbled into this situation. You could just pretend not to hear them. If you left as you were told, only the Overlord would have been killed. But you couldn't have done that. That path is an, an option for you. you. Think that no matter what, you'll always strive for the path where everyone survives. It must exist. It simply must. The Overlord sees their underling. They beg for their life. You pray. You don't know what else to do, so you just pray. The Overlord's claws pierce the underling's chest. They scream an awful scream. She digs in and twists her claws into the poor thing while you continue to pray. There's no saving any of you now. You, the old lord, the hero, and the underling's corpse are consumed by the flames. True ending? Oh, devout maiden. Okay. Just non-stop praying. Uh, what do I have to do for the different ending? Merciful. Okay. There we go. Slap that on. Overlord spares the underling. You feel relieved, but does, that doesn't make any difference. 
It should say, like, you have stopped praying. <laughs> well, you all burn together. Maiden's true end. Okay, here's the director. Keep collecting bad endings for now. It can't end like this. Oh, hmm. Maybe I don't want to do this one yet. I want to keep collecting bad endings. There's got to be a good ending there, probably. Uh, oh, nope, true end. What's this? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that yet. I wanna, I want endings. Okay, what's next? I think we do a hero and we got disloyal. I think this should be a path. Skip all this. Uh, the coward, it's fine. Skip. Diplomatic. Skip. Uh, I thought she was antisocial. Reset the stage. What happened there? No, he's gotta be. Beautiful, I think. No, it doesn't matter, actually. Because I'm playing as a uh, dutiful. The problem is that she's... The maiden's already here. I want her to be gone. Uh, Antisocial. That should send her away. I'm pretty sure this is an option. Okay, maybe not. We've seen all this before. Uh, what do we got? Maiden? What's left? Oh, wait. Antisocial. Maiden stays the Overlord, but he has to be dutiful and heroic. And that goes another route. I think that's the one I need. Dutiful, heroic, and antisocial? Yeah. But he can't be hungry. Antisocial, dutiful, heroic. Uh, be polite, doesn't matter. Uh, refuse to leave. Oh wait, is he stabbing her? Go back. Personally dashes toward the Overlord. Must have been doing once something horrible has happened. Okay. So I think we're just taking the block the block for her. Uh, if I do nothing, that's a death first though. I'll do that one. The hero's blade pierces the Overlord and she lets out a horrible scream. You flinch. The Overlord is slain. The hero smiles and holds out his hand for you, saying it's time to go home. Love is drenched in blood. Only you take his hand. The hero guides you through the castle, past the corpses. And have I already done that one? I've already done that one. Uh, reset. I think I'm just gonna be a martyr now. Be polite, doesn't matter. Used to leave, now I'll protect her. Take the shot. Ah, uh, you selfishly throw yourself in front of the hero's blade, acting as a shield. Funny you think you never could have imagined this would be the way that you die. The worlds are all switched around, but it feels right to you somehow. You're glad your destiny turned out to be saving someone rather than being saved yourself. As your vision fades, you hope that everything turns out alright for your new friend. Okay, I got the sacrificial. Uh... Exit the stage. So now she's got a martyr. So that probably opens up a few things. Uh, what else do we got? Obedient. There's something here. I can do this one. He has to be disloyal to go up, though. Okay. Uh, so, antisocial. It saves the overlord. He chooses to leave. So, be obedient. But he needs to be disloyal. Okay. Antisocial. Just do her again. Be polite. Doesn't matter. Obedient. And... That nothing else happened there. How do I get the other ending? Something to do with him then. Uh, dutiful. Not that. I just want to finish off these endings. Uh, obeyer. Heroic? Would be diplomatic? Polite. Obeyer. Okay, something's, something's not happening there. Uh, we still have to get that ending. That's when she's merciful. So, antisocial. Actually, I think if I can probably set this up myself. Disloyal, yeah. Disloyal, diplomatic, antisocial, and merciful. Then, refuse to leave. Hero shows up. Uh, keep collecting endings. Yeah, okay, got it. Uh, I got a few more endings. What else do I need to do here? 
Just looking for any white. It's these two, but I don't know what these options are. Any more. And nothing can be done here. She's a martyr. That would finish off all her paths. Uh, okay. So, I'll have the day off. Stay in chat. Diplomatic. Heroic and martyr. Okay. Uh, keep collecting ends. Martyr. Diplomatic. Not obedient. Is it dutiful? One has to be dutiful, right? Diplomatic and heroic. Okay. Here you go. Skip. Uh, grab the day off. Let her stay. Or even know how to react. He makes his move and the maiden makes hers. She used her own body to shield you from the hero's blade. Why? Why does this happen? Pain falls to the floor, lifeless. The pool of blood beneath her grows. So does your rage. The hero has taken something precious from this world. You lose control, and the hero is obliterated. The end. Ah, but your hatred for humans has not yet been sated. You want to destroy them all and become ruler of the entire world. That's technically a good ending for... Letter flares down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter four. Uh, reset the stage. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Uh, do you remember when we first met? I had just finished one of my scripts. One I was quite proud of, in fact. As I read it aloud, you happened to pass by. What a terrible ending, you said. Why should these poor fools have to die? You were so rude, you wouldn't accept any of my justifications, and yet... You managed to convince me. It really would be better if everyone could live in harmony, however unrealistic that felt. I look back fondly on that day, even now. I wonder if somewhere you're thinking of it too. Forever yours, tragedy. Okay, so I'm guessing they're talking about comedy. If, if it's tragedy and comedy, that's what I'm basing it on right now. Uh, bad endings. All of them are done for her. Right? Uh, oh, look at the list. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Uh, who's the next? Gotta go underling, I guess. Or maybe not. His are still locked up. Uh, what else can I do here? Uh, I gotta activate these grayed out ones. I somehow did it without unlocking these. Uh, it's gotta be... I gotta go for the, the worst ending here. So... If I can get those to happen. Uh, my main behavior is obedient. Antisocial. He can't be diplomatic, though. Antisocial and obedient. And don't have him be a factor at all, basically. Uh, tell her to quit yelling. Disloyal? Time to die. Fear that cleanest way to do this would be to dig your claws into her throat, so you do just that. She wakes up, but not in time to stop you. You watch as she chokes on her blood, cursing you before finally expiring. That felt terrible. Remind yourself as it was either her or you, and you weren't about to let yourself get killed by anyone. Leave the room to find your friends waiting just inside. They look pleased, only now do you realize they must have planned to use you like this from the beginning. Did I already do this one? Or will one day betray you? Reset the stage. I'm at 36. No, I don't have it. Uh, disloyal though. Antisocial and obedient. How did it wind up going down? Turns the castle, underling confirms. Dethrow the overlord, disloyal. If she's anti so it should go this way. Very social obedient. I keep collecting endings. Uh, try doing hill heroic, see if I can get something to happen. No. Okay, what am I missing here? Uh, what am I doing? Underling brings the maiden. Underling gets involved. Antisocial obedient. Maybe you can't get it because those aren't unlocked? Kill the overlord. The underling doesn't know. Oh, what am I... There's these. Just be disloyal. Leave when told. Dutiful. Oh, here's one. Uh, martyr. Heroic. Okay. Uh... 
Dutiful. Dutiful. And then be heroic. She has to be a martyr. Okay. Keep collecting. Martyr. Uh, I'm gonna play as him, so it doesn't matter. So dutiful. Dutiful. That's the main what's going on. She explains that she came here on her own. She was never in any danger. She doesn't only ask what you're covered in blood. I'm gonna respond. Skip. Uh, stop the overlord misunderstanding. That's not it either. What am I doing? Who tries to slay the overlord? Martyr. That should have activated. Oh, I, I looked at the wrong... I'm, they're both the same path, though. Be diplomatic. The overlord reaches the room. You can't be disloyal. She can't be possessive. And just try and stab him. Martyr. Disloyal. This should work. Uh, flee like a coward. Diplomatic. Ask me what's going on. Nope. No, I had to be her dutiful. Or heroic at the end there. No or not. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, I did get it. Why did it skip? Uh, transitions after choices. Skip unseen text. That didn't feel right. I'm getting them, but I'm not even noticing. Uh, what do I do here then? How did I get this one? Disloyal. Antisocial. Hero flees from the demons. Slays the demons. Flee from the demons, but she has to be obedient. She runs from you. You talk. Uh. Antisocial. Not obedient. Where is she? No, she has to leave. That's right. Uh, return. Go back to the main menu. So be obedient. Oh, okay. Here's new stuff. How come it's skipping? Uh, she couldn't have come from the Overlord's castle, could she? This may be the exact maiden you're currently seeking to rescue. You approach her with curiosity. Yes, maiden, what she's doing? Doesn't she know the Overlord's castle is, like, right there? It's dangerous. The maiden explains that she spoke with the Overlord, and it turns out the demons never had any diabolical plans to harm the village or anyone in it. Uh, I guess she can't be trusted. <laughs> uh, believe her story. Get a new one. You have no reason to assume she's lying to you, even though her story is kind of hard to believe. You feel you should trust her. Tell her you're pretty surprised that everyone has been wrong about demons all along. Townspeople must be informed of this immediately. When you return to the village, they had all been so worried. They praise you for your bravery. Main quickly sets the record straight. There was nothing she needed to be rescued from in the first place. Villagers look for you explanation. Politely inform them it wasn't your story to tell. You merely ran into her on the way to the castle. See, she explains that the Overlord isn't interested in capturing maidens or anything of the sort. <laughs> She's so bad. Uh, the villagers turn to you again in disbelief. They aren't being subtle in how little they trust the maiden's story. I really believe her, but to placate these fair citizens, you volunteer to speak to the demons personally, just in case. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You're too busy thinking of what a great and reliable hero you are to hear what they're saying. Town's elder, the town elder's voice breaks you out of your thoughts. He implores you to meet with the overlord immediately and says they'll keep an eye on the maiden until you return. You figure that sounds alright, the mood is kind of intense for some reason. Did you miss something? You aren't sure what's going on, but you get the feeling it might be bad to leave Maiden on her own. But suddenly she takes off running. Oh, you thought the two of you were in this together. Her actions have convinced the crowd that she's obviously been in a liar and a witch from the start. People are shouting for you to hunt her down, or hunt her and her demon friends down already, but that doesn't, excuse me, that doesn't sound like a very heroic task. You can't help but feel these people are wrong. It's up to you to catch up to her and talk to the demons in order to clear up this misunderstanding. You valiantly dash off, dash after the maiden toward the Overlord's castle. The air becomes dark and thick as you enter the deep into the demon territory. Evil miasma? No, you realize it's just normal smoke. You see the maiden's ahead and she's stopped in her tracks. The Overlord's castle engulfed in flames. You had already taken an eye off the maiden for a second, but she's already disappeared. You get closer to the castle, but the smoke is so thick you think of turning back. Maiden might need your help, but you can barely see. She could be impossible to find. She 
you could have all been lying to you all along. Uh, was this a trap? Would it be worth risking your life on the chance? Your legs feel heavy. No, going in there would be suicide. Turn to the village and tell them there was nothing you could do. Too late, the maiden was claimed by the demons. Uh, bystander hero. Okay, what else do I got? I got trusting now. Oh, I got, okay, I got this, but how did I skip that? Uh, okay. There's one more here. Trusting. If he's disloyal, it goes this way, so... Trusting. There's something here. Disloyal. Trusting. Turns to the overlord. If he's disloyal, go up here. Uh, okay. So, put that to trusting. Then... Yes, be antisocial. Choose to leave when told, so it's obedient, trusting. He returns to the castle, but he has to be disloyal. Okay. Be polite, doesn't matter. Uh, obey her. Uh, grab the hero and run. Resolute. Okay, this is... Why is it skipping all this text that I've never seen? Plains like believes your story, just volunteers to go and talk to the demon himself. Crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You hear words like trickery and demon sympathizer being thrown around, which makes you frown. Pretty shocked that everyone's this hesitant to believe you. Does this hero even trust you? You aren't sure anymore. An old man implores the hero to go speak with the overlord immediately. He says you should be held prisoner and considered dangerous until the hero returns. Much to your disbelief, the crowd agrees with him. Because of course, if you were conspiring with the demons, they can't afford to let their guard down. The whole village would be slaughtered by monsters. Quote unquote monsters. Uh, the hero isn't saying anything. He'll be tied up and tossed into a cell at this rate. If you're gonna be held captive by anyone, it's gonna be the overlord, not your fellow countrymen. Okay, uh... I leave on my own. Get the new one first. Grab the hero and run. You only announce the old company the hero to prove yourself. You'd rather risk what's out there instead of staying in a village that doesn't trust you. No one seems to know how to react. You grab the hero by the wrist and take off before anyone stops you. Near the castle's entrance, you spy a group of suspicious demons. They're talking about assassinating the Overlord. You have to warn her. The hero shakes his head. Have I already seen this one? Disloyal. Castle alone. Oh, alone. Uh. Okay. I need to go alone. Go play. Obedient. Uh, leave on your own. Move yourself without anyone's help. You make a run for your Overlord's castle, leaving the hero behind. Special group of demons stands out just out the entrance. They're taken about assassinating the overlord. You really notice you overheard them. The underling you recognize from before is the first to do something about it. It's just the way it has to be. If someone attack you in that moment, you regret having ever trusted the demons. You die instantly. The end. Okay. Okay, that's one of them. So now, if he's not disloyal, keep collecting. Uh, turn that off and go again. Be polite. Obeyer. Leave on your own. As you get closer, you start to notice a tower of black smoke darkening the beautiful sky. Castles engulfed in flames, one god's name could have happened. And the fleeing demons, but the overlord isn't, isn't among them. Since your better judgment, you rush into the battle. The burning castle will find her. We reach the overlord's room, but the door is shut tight. The handle is too hot to touch. So at this point, underling would be inside. Uh, you're too weak to force it open. You pound your fist against the door. Helplessly. What were you thinking? This is all because you'd forgotten your role. Only a hero could pull this kind of thing off. You start to cough. The smoke is too thick, you can hardly breathe. You realize that having gotten much time left now, you desperately head toward the stairs to save yourself. But the fire spread faster than you expected. You won't make it outside. You can't help but laugh. What a joke. A maiden saving the overlord. If you just stayed true to your role, things wouldn't have ended like this. Except for the kind of punishment you deserve. Let the demon fire cleanse your rotten soul. Selfless Maiden. Okay. Uh, exit stage. I didn't get it, though. Maiden is slain by the underling after holding on the plot. How did, which one did I go to? From the Burning Castle. Oh, no. He's disloyal, goes here, but I need the other one. Crap. Okay, I did that wrong. So, I need one other option that I don't have. Uh... I guess I can do the full one now. There's this one. There's another option that I don't have for... 
for the underling. It's gotta be this. Okay, so be polite. Underling gets involved. Antisocial, obedient, trusting, resolute, merciful. Obedient and resolute. Antisocial. Trusting. This one's, a, this one's like the most complex one. Antisocial, obedient, trusting, resolute, merciful. It's a big one. Okay, you're an underling. Better come with ya. Kill the overlord. Surprise, the overlord spares you. Or maybe she'd rather see you suffer instead. Looking around, you're just gone from one dead end to the other. The is crying, the hero is silent. You'll all burn together. That's it. Yeah, okay, you'll all burn together. A letter flutters down from the, beyond the curtain. You found Lost Letter 3. Exit the stage. Uh, what's this one say? Uh, my love, I've been feeling a little depressed lately. Many patron, patrons have come to my theater, but none so far have stayed to experience every tale in its entirety. The critics haven't exactly been kind, but I understand. My stories aren't exactly crowd pleasers. Despite that, you always listen to the very end. I'm grateful for that. Hope to see you again soon. They do know they're coming to watch a tragedy, though, right? Okay, two more. How do you get this? Whatever this is. Trusting. Resolute. Okay, what if I don't do trusting? Obedient. It goes down here. I have to go through this whole path, though. No, that's just kills. Crap, what am I... How do I get this one? It definitely has to do with the underling. What if I just keep turn them all off? What happens then? No, chicken out. And he just burns. Yeah, there's one more for him. Turns to the castle. Nothing confirms the plan to kill the overlord. Doesn't follow through the plan. There's this one. Disloyal and something else. It's two properties of him, too. And that'll just domino and give me the last two endings that I need. Uh, is it two or three? Two endings, okay. It's gotta do with him. Hungry, it doesn't matter, it just kinda... Yeah, okay, it's it's having to do with him. It can't be you have to kill. It has to involve them all, probably. Uh... Safe from the Overlord, the man becomes property of the Overlord. And stands by as Cyrus slays the Overlord and tries to protect the Overlord. It's this one. How do you get this one? Disloyal. Just be disloyal. Turns the castle. So, she has to be involved somehow, so... She has to leave the village. She has to leave the Overlord and come back. That's how she gets to interact with the other two. Else, she's just always there. Help her out. Oh! Uh, humans don't like to talk to you. I've seen this before. Disloyal. Why is that one? That was some new text. How did I, have I not seen that text before? I moved today when there are other curious about me. Humans don't usually talk to you, so this is kind of exciting. Hold on about some kind of just. She's, yeah, I've read this. How come I couldn't skip it? Try martyr? See if she just dies. Nope. Okay. Uh. I don't know. Oh, I can read what they do. Believes the main story, tries to kill the overlord, slaughters all demons. Uh, 
What? How do you get this ending? Based on this, it looks like I wouldn't have to play the other two. It'd have to be Hero and Maiden. Uh, I have to somehow get this. If she's not resolute, you have to have the- oh wait. There's two branch of path that doesn't require him though. So turn that off. Let's see what I can do here. Please. I think I've already chosen the wrong stuff. Which path is this? Antisocial. Hero flees the demons. Slays the demons. Obedient. Oh, she runs from you and you talk. I thought this was obedient, like you talk to the overlord. That makes more sense. Trusting. Resolute. Okay. I already forgot what I was doing. She's already talking. She's like, I need the maiden to leave. Antisocial. Yeah, antisocial. There we go. That's the one I was missing. Uh, she can't be trusted. Leave her story. Letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. How come it skipped the ending? Found lost letter one. Exit the stage. Do it again. How did I miss it? Leave her story. You have no reason to assume she's trying to lie to you, even though her story is kind of hard to believe. You feel you should trust her. Well, you're pretty surprised that everyone has been wrong about demons all along. Tells me must be informed of this immediately. Okay. Then they all turn to you. They still don't believe you. So what happens? She leaves. Can't help but feel these people are wrong. Finally dash after Maiden toward the Overlord's castle. You're too late. The oh! Through the unguarded gates, you spot a group of demons surrounding a body. The maiden, she was a fool to have trusted demons after all. Your hero blood is boiling. You'll avenge her death. Charge through the gates to eliminate every demon you see. What the fuck are you doing killing my soldiers? The Overlord is angry. You vowed to exterminate her and all of human demon kind. You clash again and again, but the Overlord isn't going down easily. You're both dangerous, low on health. When everything goes black, your quest has come to an abrupt end. Unlucky hero. Uh, so what happened? I got the ending. How did... It had to be the underling then, this little locked out one. Resolute is her choosing to bring you. Uh, okay. Read that letter now. Ah, oh, my love, it is just isn't... It just isn't fair at all, is it? For them to force us apart like this. It's unreasonable, cruel. I had to find an outlet for this grief somehow. But I decided to write, and I'll keep writing until the day you find me once more, and then maybe we could write a story together. I'm waiting for that day. Forever yours, tragedy. Okay, the only one left, oops. Turn. Only one left is Maiden. I didn't click anything. Uh, obey her. Get the stage. Uh, this one. So if I recreate what I did, so antisocial, he had to be trusting. Antisocial, trusting. Can't be resolute. Turns to see the overlord lord or alone. Be polite. Be obedient. Be resolute. Oh no, I have to come back alone. That's the wrong one. Uh, okay. Polite. Obedient. Leave on your own. I think this is the fire though, isn't it? Yeah. Visit the stage. Crap, how do you get this ending? There's this, like how? How do I get it?
Unless it's just another... Put on coward? That way the place isn't gonna burn then, right? Nope. It's not martyr. It has to do with the, the underling. He needs another one. But I don't see any possible path where it would become available. Ah. Uh, Antisocial. Diplomatic. I'm trying to... F what is wrong here? Antisocial. Tyrant. That's not. You're out. Disloyal. I don't know what I'm doing. It's It's gotta be him. There's another option for him somehow. Just slap it all on. Oh, what if I'm disloyal earlier? Is that gonna change anything? Nope. I keep getting that ending. It's the last one! How do you get it? I didn't... crap. Some option that doesn't open up often. Add end. Not many chances for it. It's gotta be like right here. Okay, trusting, resolute, merciful. I don't know what this is. Uh, so don't let it be merciful, resolute, or trusting. But we need... Antisocial and obedient. Where are the maiden and the hero? Kills killed by the overlord out of retribution. Erling ends up saving the maiden, they become the new overlord. Erling gets involved in plot to throw. Antisocial obedient. Trusting. Oh, here we go. Uh, how did this happen? Why does it keep backing off? I tell them you're just joking, clarify whether or not you actually feel like killing the Overlord, you know how bad it is for them to end up on the wrong side of things. If the assassination deal doesn't pan out, you can always pretend you are innocent. But neither shield of full confidence, you worry about what you're getting yourself dragged into. While your friends outside the castle talk more about the plan, you're curious if they have any idea what they want to go about this. Maybe they'd lock her in a room and set it on fire, what a stupid plan. You've heard this one before. And he's about saying, let's just kill him. And back down now. They tell you to do it. She shows up. You and your friends turn to notice the maiden from earlier has overheard your entire conversation. Bad if your overlord found out about this. For killing practice. <laughs> uh, I guess talk. Try that first. This is just the way it has to be. You declare. Oh, it's the opposite. This is the one that I saw. Turns out your own expert ending lives. Your friends call you a show off. Go back to the castle to show off. To wash off all the icky human blood. You're finishing up, you hear the sounds of battle outside. It was come seeing the dead maiden must have made him pretty angry. You get to thinking if this hero took down the overlord for you, everything might actually work out in your favor. You wait for your things to die down outside before pulling your head out. You spot the overlord and the hero blocked in battle. They're worn each other worn <laughs> They've worn each other down, making this very easy for you. The one karate chop to the back. Uh once an opening presents itself, you hit the back of the hero's head, knock him out. 
What are you doing? I could... Couldn't you tell this was a duel? If you don't respond, you have to carry out the assassination. Tackler and Ripper to shreds with the claws. Finish off the hero next. You can't let them revive and come after you. Kind of a cheap victory, but it doesn't make any difference. Anyone who manages to survive comes crawling out of the hiding places. And now I'm back to being the king. In fear that they one day betray you. Lord Underling A. Okay, so I got the new one for Captor. Got the achievement for all endings. Or all the behaviors. Okay. So, being a captor... The underling imprisons the maiden. The underling violently overthrows the overlord and they become the new demon ruler. Uh, so he has to be disloyal and a captor. So I guess, do that one again, just to see it. Be disloyal. She shows up, toss her in the dungeon. You and your friends seize the maiden and bring her to the dungeon under the castle. Empty, save your decorative skills. They're only there to make it more spooky. Decorative skulls, not skills. The is very upset. You leave her in the cell to continue scheming with your friends. Now a hero has arrived from the front gates. He's asking about a maiden, perhaps the very one you just locked up. The keeper who must have been seen everything tells the hero exactly what happened. What an idiot to think he'd give... Why give the hero an excuse to start slaughtering us? The hero yells for her to face justice and another than such cliche hero lines before driving his sword into the gatekeeper's torso. You're small compared to a lot of your friends, so you're able to slip away without getting caught up in the sword. Okay, and then it's just... Yeah, then they fight. Okay, so... Disloyal and... Wait a minute. This is the only one where you need two behaviors in one option. There's up to be killed off by the underling after fighting the overlord. Oh, okay, that's how you get that one. So the last one is disloyal and captor. And you have to be antisocial. Bear. Uh, grab the hero. I think that's the wrong one. Trusting. You leave. Trusting. Turns to see the overlord. And disloyal and captor. Uh, keep collecting. I need one more. I already have it. Or do you need the opposite? See, they're with the hero. Okay, so it can't be trusting. Or not. Man returns to see the overlord with the hero. Resolute. Oh, no. Be trusting. Come on your own. And then get that. Read it wrong. Okay, this should do it. Uh, obeyer. Leave on your own. Okay, here we go. Switch group demons stand just outside the entrance. They're talking about assassinating the overlord. They immediately notice you overheard them and decide to lock you in the dungeon before you can cause any trouble. You cry out, but demons ignore your protests. You can't believe you escaped possibly being thrown into a cell back in your village only to be tossed into an awful place. Terrible, who's gonna keep those demons from harming the overlord? Hope she can fend for herself, you sure can't. You hear the sounds of battle echoing through the halls outside. The hero follow you. He's out there, your cries don't reach him. After a while, the violence seems to die down. It's impossible to tell what's happened. He's in your wait, but no one comes for you. You will escape, you rot in that cell. Prison maiden. Letter flutters down from beneath the curtain. Lost letter two. Reset the stage. I got all the letters now. Uh, my love, I finally fulfilled a childhood dream of mine. Yes, that's correct. I opened up my very own theater. You would, wouldn't, shouldn't this be the first one? You would be so proud if you could only see it. I know how much it would meant to you, but at my side on opening night. Sorry for going ahead without you, but I thought if my theater could become world famous, then maybe you just might hear it, of it, wherever you are. Okay, that's everything. Now I think there's a, yeah, so I can start this now. Whatever this can't end like this. Okay, uh, you want to answer the maiden's prayers. You've decided to find a way to save everyone. But retracing the paths you've seen so far, there's bound doesn't seem to be any room to avoid a bad ending. If there is there really nothing you can do to help them all from getting killed in the end? Dot dot dot. If there's nothing you can do by acting from within their story, maybe it's time to take things into your own hands. 
Oh. There's a little bit of music. What's this? The hero is burning. Here's another roll. What we got? Maiden's... Maiden is burning. Oh, I didn't want to click on that. Uh, you boldly insert yourself into the story and use your incredible power to warp everyone to safety. You didn't know you could do that, but what's going on here? Take a moment to get a good look at yourself. <laughs> You're like the guy from Hugh. Uh, no, the guy from Limbo or Hugh, one or the other. Uh, you are you, but why are you pitch black? You feel that this body doesn't accurately represent you, but you move past it. Hero, Maiden, Underling, and Overlord have been staring at you too. You look like they don't really know what they're supposed to do right now. You guess that's because you're usually the one guiding them. What will you say to them? Uh, go with hi guys? You smile awkwardly and introduce yourself. The Maiden is the first to respond. Curse has been answered. You must be... For God, no, you're merely the player. If there's any god here, they'd be the final boss. That's just how these role-playing games go. Now you realize what the real true ending must be. Now, 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 enough of this. Or, now, 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 enough of this. I admit I've been encouraging you all along with a self-insert story. How pass it? You watch helplessly as tragedy descends upon from the heavens. You didn't honestly believe you were the only one who could force your way into the stage, did you? Just a mask? Uh, I'm the narrator, storyteller, god of this world. Call me tragedy if you like. His mask is smiling, but well, it's got tears, but tragedy usually is the frowning mask. Uh, darkness envelops your party. You don't mind if I send each of them back to relieve one of their many bad endings, right? You are alone in the darkness with me. Tragedy! I sincerely hope you've been enjoying your time in my theater. Though I can't abide your stealing the show without permission. It's quite disrespectful. Uh, I want to see something new. I'm sick of all these bad endings. And frankly, you should never have come to a place called Bad End Theater. Haven't we already been over this? You think defeating me might just be the only way you can see a better ending? That's all that's left for you, isn't it? Well, this does sound like it could be entertaining. Show me what you've got. Time to fight God. How every story ends in video games. Ah, <laughs> uh, the stage is set for your final battle against me, the God of this world. What will you do? How will you fight against tragedy itself? I'd love to see it. Uh, attack! Try your best to tear me down, but you can't seem to do any damage. You don't truly exist in this world, after all. Oh, is that all? You've never defeat me You'll never defeat me like that. Let me try that again. Attack. Try your best to tear me down, but you can't seem to do any damage. Okay, same dialogue. Just how unclassed you are here. Behold my beautifully tragic tales! Doesn't seeing them all again make your heart ache? Is this supposed to be film? Like, different colored film? Ah, uh, you've witnessed all 41 of my painstakingly crafted endings. You must be all as much of a masochist as me. Commend your thoroughness. Surely these characters have a special place in your heart. You're still suffering backstage, you know. It's a shame they couldn't make it here, to the end of the world. That's right, you came here to save them. You can't do this alone. Ah. Uh, okay, you know, just... I can summon. <laughs> Happy music, a fighting god. Uh, you find the hero in his home, hunched over a sewing table. Your sudden intrusion scares the hell out of the poor guy. Are you some kind of demon? Explain that no, you're not a demon. You're... How can you explain it the way the hero can understand? Instead, you ask what's he sewing. This, I craft all my hero gear. You sense his pride in his hobby. You wonder if the costumes are what attracted him to the role of hero. You like some clothes? You don't seem to be wearing any. <laughs> Remember the state of your body and decide that yes, some clothes from the hero would be nice. Are we going to get some souped up stuff from every character? Uh, he's overjoyed to hear your answer. Apparently his outfits are too gaudy for the other townsfolk, so no one else wants them. Give me a cape. Give me a nice white cape. A uh, shade of orange cape. Uh, the true end for the hero suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change his fate. I can make a living as a tailor rather than a hero. Please tell me what I can do to reach that dream. The hero will now fight alongside you. Ooh, that's some good sprite art. That's, that's really good. I agree to follow you, but I didn't expect to face something like this. The hero survived. We really couldn't have a final battle without him. You're the one who's been killing us. Murderer. I can't truly call myself a hero until I see you defeated. We'll see about that. Reggie attacks with terrible fate. Just the fire? Okay. Oh, I take damage? Uh... Okay, try willpower? The reign of terror ends here, Dragi. I refuse to give in. He uses willpower to overcome tragedy. Ooh, all that damage. Uh, tragedy is reeling. 
Uh, do it again? Peter tries to use his belief in justice to fight tragedy. That justice applies to you too, does it not? Will you pay for your own misdeeds? Oh, now it's just blood everywhere. How come I take the damage? Should be the hero. Uh, okay, that one doesn't light up. I guess summon Maiden? You happen to find the Maiden as she exits the church. Her heart's set on meeting a demon. Perfect timing. She approaches you, having already been taken notice of your odd form. Excuse me, are you a traveler? I've never seen anyone like you here before. You explain that no, you're not a traveler. Well, maybe you are, in a sense. You've come all this way. The Maiden regards you with excited curiosity. And perhaps you might be a demon. I was hoping I could meet one, one today. You think of all the terrible fates that ho hope would bring about. She is a uh, she is the catalyst of this story, after all. She kind of is. Like the endings are the stories are pretty short until she comes and gets involved. Uh, my role as a maiden is to be captured by the Overlord, but you see, I've grown so tired of waiting. You remember this part? She wanted to understand her role better, and so you ask what it is that she's really hoping to gain from this. Main is confused by your question. Perhaps it was as simple as wanting to reach the place she felt like she belonged. True end for her, this maiden suddenly becomes clear. You offer her to change her fate. If there's something I can do to find fulfillment, then please guide me. Come fight God with me. <laughs> you want to change your fate? Deal with God. Ah, uh, what is this horrible creature? You wound me, dear maiden. Is tragedy really such a terrible thing to behold? I remember now. I remember all the awful things you put us through. And this should be familiar to you as well. Tragedy attacks with terrible fate. Burning? Oh no, just blood. Blood everywhere. Uh, attack with... Well, hope... One of these might heal me, I guess. Our true endings do exist. They simply must. Main hopes with all her heart to overcome tragedy. Oh, no, just a lot of damage. Uh, tragedy is reeling. Uh, will this one heal? Main tries to appeal to tragedy with kindness. So naive, I'll balance her kindness with my cruelty. And now she's burning up the stick. But I'm the one that takes damage. Okay. I guess it's just one per character? Summon. Oh. You approach the gates as the Overlord's castle. The underling is on guard duty, as you expected. They call out to you. The other demon guard is sound asleep. Hey, you're pretty weird looking intruder. Hey, you're a, you're a pretty weird looking intruder. What do you want? Explain that no, you're not an intruder, although you're definitely intruding into their story right now. You tell the underling you've come to save them from tragedy. Okay, try saving me from boredom first. I hate this job. The underling snickers. You ask what kind of job they'd rather have. Best if I didn't have to work at all. I just want to live a carefree life and never get top bossed around or picked on. Think of the underling's friends who had bullied them into assassination plot only to betray them in the end. If they kept better company, maybe they wouldn't feel so restless. True end for the underling suddenly becomes clear. You have to change their fate. There's a way that even work can be fun? Sounds fake, but I'll take along with you just in case. Only when I'll fight alongside you. Yeah. <laughs> you want a world of fun? First, deal with God. Uh, that art's not that... Uh, the Maiden's art is really good, but the underlings isn't as great as these two. I think it's... I think it's just because it's not like... You can't see his face as much. Uh, wait, what the fuck? You didn't say anything about a boss battle? The underling, hmm, you must be a desperate to call on such an unreliable ally. If I beat this guy, all my problems will be over. Oh, but it won't be that easy. Tragedy attacks with terrible fate. Oh, that death? Okay. <laughs> oh, it attacks all of them, but I'm the one that takes the damage. Okay, uh... Willpower, hope... I guess go with tenacity? Knock me down, and I'll just come back stronger. Yeah, okay. Underlying... The underling uses their tenacity to overcome tragedy. Another giant health gauge gone. Tragedy is reeling. Okay, I'm assuming it's only one per character. Hey, you enter the Overlord's room, relieved to see the fire contained in the torches on the walls. You close the door behind you, the Overlord rises from her slumber. Who are you? Have you come to reside in my castle and serve me? You explain that no, you're not here to serve her. It's more like you've come to do her a favor. You ask why she spends all day sleeping instead of commanding her demon army. She laughs in response. Many of my underlings certainly think I should be more aggressive with my humans, like my father before me. His quest for revenge was endless and self-perpetuating. There's a reason I had to destroy him. Yeah, she says she's not that strong, but she took out her dad. Uh, you can't help but think it's a little late in the game to be getting some new backstory. I have no interest in waging war on humans. I merely wish to be left alone, to live a peaceful, indulgent life in my castle. Okay, there is a window here, so during the flyers, she could have jumped out with everyone. Uh, you realize she must actually be very lonely, only surrounded by soldiers instead of friends. No wonder she gets so attached to the maiden. True end for the overlord suddenly becomes clear. 
You offer to change your fate. No attempts at peace have been rather imperfect. If you offer a solution, then very well, I will follow you. Overlord will now fight alongside you. How good's their art? That's good art. All of them are good except the underling. They could have done this little one. This this one could have been better. I see, so this is tragedy. You brought the Overlord. I don't stand a chance now. You prevented me from attaining peace for long enough. Prepare to die. I hope you're prepared to face your deaths as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Just attacks you, though. Oh, that one's not that sad. She... Uh, I guess she kills the hero. Now that the whole party's here, can you solve my final puzzle? Which combination of behaviors will open the path to your true ending? Show me. Uh, I'm assuming it's the ones that are all, like, friendship and hope. So, probably not brutality, it's probably ambition. I'll reach my true ending with my, true, my own power. The Lord use their ambitious nature to overcome tragedy. BAM! All the help. This is it. If everyone's hearts united, you take aim toward your best possible futures. That's a pretty good shot. Uh, yeah, that's a really good image. Uh, you all unleash one final attack to destroy tragedy once and for all. There we go. Down to zero. No in between. Infinity to zero. Aha! You've done it. You've managed to defeat me. Tragic ending for... A tragic ending for tragedy itself. I love it. I must thank you all for filling your roles perfectly. Starring Hero as himself. Thank you, Hero. Thank you, Maiden. He doesn't even care. Uh, thank you, Underling. Thank you, Overlord. Enough of this nonsense. We defeated you, so die already. Written and produced by Tragedy. Don't worry, I'll be making my exit shortly. Directed by you. Finally, thank you most of all. We couldn't have made it here without you. Yes, my bad end theater did contain a truly good ending after all. I apologize for antagonizing you all for so long. I want to deliver a satisfying story. Was I able to do it, I wonder? Uh, I'm satisfied, I guess? Thank you, I really appreciate that. Happy endings shouldn't all... Happy endings shouldn't always come easily. Reality is not so kind. We've earned it. But you've earned this one. Here's your true ending. Does it just go right to credits? Oh, it is! Oh... He's being a okay. That's that's the whole game, though. Post there's probably a post credit thing. I found all the letters. Don't they do anything? Oh, now he's just into fashion. Oh, there's vocals. <laughs> There's the letters, I guess. Oh, no more, no more vocals, I guess, too. <laughs> vocals were sounding pretty good. Like synthwave vocals. Wandering all alone, searching for my lost love, stumbled toward Beth and Theater, though his lays were cold. I still felt this warmth from them. There's the letters. They're in color at the end, at least. Your true end. 41 slash 41 endings. Something's missing? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, you're still here. Curtain is closed for the final time. I'm shutting down my theater. There are no more tragedies left for me to tell, after all. Uh, there's one more? Me, you'd like to know why I started this theater? Aha, because I'm, Seth was, I'm, because I'm obsessed with bad endings, of course. Uh, remove the mask, is that the only option? Yep. Gently raise your fingers to the cracks in my mask. Piece by piece, it falls apart in your hands, revealing... The Maiden? Should warn you, this might affect what you think of my stories. Can't help but compare my face to the Maiden's. Okay. I'm not her, but it's not like she isn't me, necessarily. That's how it is with fiction. <laughs> You'd like to 
like to hear not another ending, but the truth. Okay, the only option is tell me. All right, one last story. You may already know this, but it doesn't have a happy ending. First, I'll set the stage. In this world, there are no such things as demons, or even heroes, really. There was a girl eager to set out to fill some sort of destiny. That part was true. She met someone, another girl. Aha, a running theme, isn't it? The Maiden and the Overlord. The two were inseparable, and for a time, everything was just wonderful. With their families, the communities they came from, neither could approve of their relationship. That was a re reality for many, this pair was no different. Despite their best efforts, the world was intent on pulling them apart. She, no we. We used to like the types of stories where love conquers all. She now, I'm a little... She says she's not the maiden, It's but like they're using the maiden font border. They should have used like a, a fifth option. Uh, where the strength of your love will pull you through any hardship and everything is okay in the end. Or at least like a different shade of blue, maybe? I lost her, and then I started this theater. Does this... does have... does have a happy ending. Huh? Where'd you come from? I was ha hoping to find you. It's you! Been so long. I thought I'd never see you again. I always think of the worst endings. I was about to give up just because things got difficult. Why didn't you reveal yourself sooner? I feel like such a fool. I could say the same to you. You know I could never resist giving your stories a happy ending. So of course I would be drawn to a place like this. Yes, but... I think it would actually work. Aha! Sometimes everything does turn out okay in the end. Thank you for reminding me of that. I love you. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, yeah. I love you too. Now truly everyone can live happily ever after. Tragedy's end. Is that it? You're gonna be a colorful- Oh, wow! Oh, it's closed now. Okay. I thought it was gonna be like a colorful, like, happy ending theater, or just like... I don't know, just call it theater, maybe. Okay, so that's everything. The game, like, that was... That was fun. I wasn't expecting the meta-ness of it. I guess that's the best. The meta, it being meta. I thought it was just going to be like, find the good ending, hooray. I didn't expect it to be like, pull the player in and experienced all the endings of the game. Nor did I expect it to be like, the overlord and the maiden were the characters the whole time. They're not the true characters, but at the same time, they they are related to them. I just, I don't know. Especially when it talked about you, like, they've been talking to you the whole time, and then you just revealed that you've been one of the actors the whole time. That, to me, was a little iffy of an ending. But yeah, it was fun. Some of the endings were a little, like, I wish the game was a little more robust. But for, like, a $10 indie, I guess that's fine. But yeah, it was, it was gifted to me, too, so I, I can't complain. This It was fun. It was fun. It was a good, like, one-night session game. And, uh, it wasn't a big... I'm sync. It was just a fun little story game. You can play it, you're good to go. If there's a sequel or something like it, I'll play it again. It was fun. Uh, but I'm hoping it's a little more expanded. It's not just make a tree, like, here's a tree, follow the right path to get everything, basically. And I didn't like the menu. Sometimes the menu here, if I can get to it. Uh, I need settings. We're settings. Yeah. So, like, I would click an option. And it would just skip through all the dialogue, but I didn't set to skip anything. If there was a skip for, like, dialogue you've seen, I'd appreciate that, but not skip everything. If, unless one of these is that, but the wording just doesn't let me see it well. No, it was fun. It took a little bit of trick figuring out, like, how to get, like, captor out of it. How do I even get it? It was one of the, like, you had to... Emerald Prison of the Maiden. Yeah, you had to get here. And then you just kill the overlords, the overlord, they become new. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was the only hard one to get, but it was definitely four per character. But it was fun. Again, shout out to Bed Maxi for gifting me a copy of this on Steam. It was fun. I'll talk to you when I'm able to talk about the game in its entirety. But as a whole, thanks for sticking around for the whole playthrough. Or if you just skim the parts to get to the review, or the quick little review, or the 
the endings if you want to see the endings. But I'll be back with another video sooner or later, like this, or maybe a little more condensed or spliced, I'm not sure. And I will see you in the next video, and again, this is on Steam, I think it's on PlayStation 5 as well, I'm not sure. But $10 if you want to give it a try, or pass it off to a friend so they can have a little uh, late night story time. So I'll see you guys later, and thanks for tuning in.